uh, through the YouTube uh, channel that is supported by the IRS EDUSAT program. So from uh, my side and on behalf of NRSE also, I welcome you all for this uh, three-day webinar program on the Bhuvan overview. So as you are aware, uh, Bhuvan is the geo portal of India that hosts a uh, lot of data sets, thematic information, uh, disaster information, a lot of feature-rich maps, and also a lot of uh, uh, thematic services that the user community can use. So this time uh, we are, uh, because we have uh, received lot many registrations, so we thought we'll conduct this program through the YouTube broadcast. And already uh, we have uh, many participants who have already logged into this uh, channel and are uh, uh, experiencing this webinar. So a warm welcome to all of you once again. So we'll begin this uh, uh, webinar session uh, with a small uh, initial address by our uh, distinguished guest, just to give us the direction and like in what way we can use the Bhuvan more effectively. Probably they'll give us a direction uh, in this uh, particular uh, uh, initiation. Uh, so I welcome you all once again, and all the speakers who are going to uh, give the uh, talks in this particular webinar. So we'll we'll start the program now with a small address, uh, welcome address by Sri G. Srinivas Rao Garu. He is the Group Director, Training Education Outreach Group. Uh, sir, welcome to you, and uh, over to you for your address. Thank you, Harish. So, good morning to uh, all of you, particularly Deputy Director uh, Bhuvan and uh, Sri Arul Raj uh, and other colleagues from IIRS also. So, welcome to all of you for this uh, particular uh, three-day Bhuvan Overview training program. So, you are lucky to have this particular program because all satellite data sets as well as thematic data sets are being served under one platform that is Bhuvan. So you will get to know next three days on these things. So with these few words, I welcome all of you, the participants, to keenly go through the uh, program and you will have everyday quizzes and those people who get more than 50% uh, and you will be given automatic uh, participation certificate through this program. And this particular program is being organized through IIRS uh, uh, collaboration. So I uh, hope you will enjoy this program and learn more things and uh, also suggest us how we can further improve our program. So thank you so much. Yeah, thank you very much, sir. Um, so probably uh, I'll brief you about uh, the, uh, the webinar instructions about how you can uh, progress through this uh, particular webinar and also participate in the quiz, uh, pro uh, quiz program for uh, getting the certificate. Uh, now I uh, welcome uh, uh, Mr. Arul Raj. He's the group head, uh, Bhuvan uh, Geo Portal and Web Services Group. Uh, good morning, Mr. Arul. You're there. Uh, Mr. Arul yeah, Raj. Uh, good morning. Um, yeah, I'm here. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, you can kindly give your introductory remark. Yeah. Um, uh, good morning, all. Uh, respected uh, Deputy Director and the Group Director, TUOG and all our um, colleagues of uh, NRSC and the uh, colleagues from IARS for this one. And um, uh, a yeah, warm welcome to this particular uh, program. And here, um, as it is uh, indicated in our uh, training uh, schedule, yes, uh, you are really um, lucky to have this particular uh, training program. And secondly, um, as it is mentioned by then, all the information are available in one place but the second important thing is this is the first time we are live casting uh, through our um, IARS uh, through the YouTube and so this is available for the entire um, world so that way also the people can get uh, benefited uh, from this particular thing and uh, to come to the uh, this particular uh, course we have a set of actions uh, which is already uh, scheduled in our uh, training program and in this one we have mixed up on both uh, um, the lecture part and the um, tutorial or the hands-on uh, part from our uh, uh, well-experienced uh, um, uh, colleagues of uh, uh, Bhuvan and the NRSC. Uh, with their uh, experience, uh, you will be definitely able to get a lot more uh, information uh, from this uh, Bhuvan. 
and uh, the to end my uh, thing my sincere uh, request to all the participants is uh, please be attentive and focus and uh, try to grasp as, as much as possible and uh, interact with the faculty and whatever uh, learning you are doing you kindly take that learning to the um, your uh, near and dears or your uh, colleagues and all the people so that they will also get knowledge on this particular thing and you take and you become as a ambassador of this bhuvan and take take all these use cases and study what we are going to uh, discuss in this particular uh, training program so that the entire country can get benefited um, uh, from the uh, such a uh, uh, beautiful uh, geo portal uh, from uh, isro for the indian nation so that uh, uh, with that one i will um, uh, again uh, welcome you for all these uh, um, uh, all of you for these three days uh, uh, session and uh, Uh, please be attentive and um, uh, take the message to others and uh, make more and more uh, utility from one thank you all thanks yeah thank you uh, arul raj uh, for your uh, comments so now i uh, welcome and uh, invite uh, dr t ravishankar garu he is the deputy director uh, uh, bhuvan uh, geo portal and web services area sir welcome sir and over to you for your inaugural address yeah thank you harish and uh, i think i have my colleagues arun raj then srinivas rao group director uh, training and uh, education uh, group then i have my own bhuvan colleagues and uh, colleagues from iars and the party dear participants a warm welcome to all of you uh, and uh, this is uh, one of the most popular uh, training programs i can say that we are conducting at uh, isro level and uh, this is a one uh, bhuvan is a one front end technology or say it's uh, for the users welfare and whatever information is generated at uh, nrsa in terms of uh, the data products or services or whatever is there all are at one uh, stop shop that is at the bhuvan and uh, you as uh, the training program is uh, designed uh, for the, the overall exposure what it contains what it serves and how you can use the bhuvan services either you can download the data or thematic data services or any other thing and uh, probably what you are seeing is only the tip of the iceberg that is uh, only the front end you will see and uh, what are all, all the things because user needs uh, information for their solving their problems whether it is a, a social problem or science related problem or the forecasting of the weather uh, Uh, parameters like that so basically bhuvan is having both scientific data as well as satellite data raw data process data and uh, the thematic maps as already my colleagues have told like uh, land use land cover or land degradation maps or wasteland map or environment and climate variable products uh, there are all variety of things as you go through these three days and uh, i am sure that the participants uh, from various sectors of uh, say sectors are participating and each one will definitely get something that is useful for them uh, and uh, once you who have this uh, exposure to the bhuvan and its utility and services uh, probably you will have more things to interact with the bhuvan uh, web services and uh, come out with your own problems or uh, these things and uh, surely we are here to help all the uh, people who are participating either they are from government sectors or students or the researchers and, uh, and the bone is a open platform open in the sense not only in terms of technologies but open to all the uh, requests and uh, whatever they need and uh, since uh, we are operating in a government domain and recently because of the uh, removal of the restrictions and a few special policy uh, things are opening up and uh, probably in uh, coming days you will have much more uh, access to the data that is available on bhuvan and uh, you can feel free and uh, uh, interact with the bhuvan team and any other specific requests are there you can directly write to uh, us so that we can try to take the management support also in providing whatever either data services or other things to the user with these few remarks and i wish all the participants a very fruitful and uh, technically enriching sessions in the coming 3 days and also i thank my colleagues training division colleagues mr harish and his team 
and also Bowen and his team for uh, taking up this uh, three days training program more vigorously. And I hope you will enjoy and all the best to the participants. Thank you, Harish. Yeah, thank you very much, sir, for your valuable advice. And in that, you also clearly mentioned like how best we can use the Bowen Geo portal. So with the, with those remarks, uh, we'll uh, come to the end of this uh, initiation session, initiation session. So thank you all the uh, speakers uh, for your valuable time. So with that, uh, we'll uh, end this initiation session and now uh, we'll start the content session uh, for this uh, webinar. So dear participants, I think uh, the webinar guidelines are already been shared to your register email. So probably you are aware of uh, those uh, guidelines. So try to, I mean, uh, follow these guidelines for a better experience of this webinar on YouTube. And as uh, already been discussed and uh, told to you that uh, we are also issuing certificate uh, as a part of this program. For uh, for that, you need to do a little bit of homework. Uh, the account of the, uh, the whatever the account that is being shared to you uh, for uh, registering uh, uh, for this uh, webinar, uh, that account also has uh, a link for the uh, quiz daily quiz program. So you need to attempt those quiz uh, uh, sheets. Uh, once you attempt that uh, quiz sheets, so it will automatically generate, but it will be on day wise. Like day one, you have one quiz, day two and day three. So three days we are organizing a quiz and then uh, consolidated marks will be generated. So if you are through with that cutoff marks, so the certificate will be automatically generated in your account and it will be, you can download that in your system. Uh, the other things like uh, the uh, question and answers can be posted in the YouTube live chat. So we'll take all relevant questions that are being uh, put up uh, during the discover, during the content, during the session, and will be taken with, to the appropriate speaker uh, through our platform. So that also is not an issue through this uh, uh, mode of uh, uh, webinar. So keep uh, your questions uh, kindly posted in that live chat, and we'll take it to the respective uh, speakers. And before any presentation, the speaker will also share his uh, email ID. So if you have any specific question related to some of the uh, technicalities that were discussed. So you can directly contact our speaker and get it clarified. Otherwise also we are, uh, we all, we all have our contact email IDs in our website and already on the Bhuvan website. So please do not hesitate to contact us for any information that is related to the Bhuvan Geo portal. Uh, so with this uh, uh, few, few briefing of the instructions, uh, we'll uh, start our uh, session, first session now. Uh, before that, uh, uh, Dr. Harish Karnatak, sir, you have anything uh, to be brief to the participants from your side? Or no, have I missed thank anything? You, thank you very much. Uh, I do not have any much because uh, already we have uploaded the SOP to all the participants. Uh, they have to follow. That's all. Thank you. Yeah, thank, you sir. thank you very much, sir. So kindly uh, be uh, uh, try to follow the guidelines and you will have a better experience of this uh, webinar. So without much ado, now let us uh, di directly go into the uh, first session uh, that is on the overview of Bo one a gateway to ISRO Geospatial Services. So Mr. Arun Raj is already here and he will take you uh, through this uh, particular talk. Uh, so I thank all others uh, who have joined us for this initiation. I hope uh, you will continue to support us uh, to this uh, entire duration of the program. Uh, Mr. Arun Raj, it is uh, over to you for your session. And as I've told, kindly put uh, in the Put your questions in the chat box. We'll have it uh, at the end of this each uh, talk. So thank you very much and uh, have a nice webinar. Yeah, uh, uh, again, uh, once again, uh, good morning all. Um, uh, the first session will be on the overview of Bowen. So um, it's um, uh, basically a, a summation of all the activities, what we are going to do for next uh, three days. It will try to cover up uh, everything on a um, very broader sense. Uh, uh, you you kindly uh, take down a uh, question if you are having anything uh, with reference to uh, this particular session uh, and I will try to answer it or else it will be covered in the respective session. As I mentioned that it will be a, uh, a pure overview and a summation of all the action what we are going to do for next um, uh, three days. Um, uh, anyway, uh, as the um, organizer has mentioned that my email ID is there, uh, you can uh, uh, contact me or uh, you can post a question to training at nrsc.gov.in also if you are having any specific uh, questions on this particular session or overall uh, with reference to the um, uh, Bowen. So uh, what exactly uh, Bowen? 
Resobuan uh, means uh, earth in uh, Sanskrit. So it is uh, what we are trying to do is we are trying to create a uh, virtual um, earth in the 2D and uh, 3D domain. So here, uh, what we have done is we have started this Buwan as a simple uh, visualization tool in uh, 2009. But uh, today, uh, with the uh, data sets uh, in place and the uh, dynamic uh, services in uh, place and a lot of uh, governance application in uh, place, it is becoming uh, yeah, uh, uh, the decision making uh, tool uh, for various governance activities in the country. On the back end, several models are uh, running or several processing capabilities are uh, inbuilt. So, uh, to, since I have talked about the, uh, the decision making tool, the very popular uh, uh, example is the Bhuvan uh, Yuktadara, where the village uh, or the panchayat level planning is uh, going on We using this Bhuvan online platform. So, that's why um, you can see that whatever the rich amount of data sets are available in uh, Bhuvan, you can collate all the things and you can apply the um, rule or you can apply the logic on the top of the data and you can derive the thing. So that way, starting from the visualization, then the map-centric application, then So when I'm meaning as the uh, geospatial app, application it will be a some of the applications are a simple uh, visualization where the data is stored here and it is disseminated to the user so that is the way some applications are there some of the applications are having a, a query shell like the basically the predefined query shells are there so that based on that one you can run the query and you can take the output and some of the things are having the model which is running on the uh, server side and it will generate run the model will run and it will create the output and it will be disseminated to the user so basically the different decisions can be made uh, from the uh, scenarios so you create your scenarios and you make the decision so that is the way the governance applications are supported so if i summarize all those things uh, we have the satellite data of almost like 60 terabyte of satellite data for visualization and also part of the things are available for free download so that way you can see that the list three data sets are available and then the AWIPS 56 meter, then Cartosat 1 2.5 meter, Cartosat um, uh, uh, 2 and 3, or um, uh, the other high resolution satellite data sets of 1 meter is available for um, uh, visualization. And the list 3 and AWIPS is available for free download. Then, if you see that the information services for the many uh, state and the central ministry, we have almost like 195 application that is also online and it is uh, uh, shared through uh, Buwan. Then um, we have the mobile applications, uh, which is primarily for uh, um, uh, the uh, inventory purpose or the crowdsourcing uh, purpose. But it is also having the component of the monitoring and it is also having the component of the decision making. So that is the way uh, we have the um, uh, mobile application in uh, place. And if you see on the other side, the uh, open data archive or the thematic services, what we are talking. So we have almost like 100 different products are there in uh, Buwan, which is uh, um, uh, uh, yeah, almost like 80 products are free downloadable and another 20 uh, different uh, products are uh, available as a um, open geospatial consortium services. So like that, the different services are there. And if you summarize all those services, we have almost like 10,000 services in uh, Buwan and it can be consumable in your application and you can integrate in your application. So now we are working more and more, as I mentioned, that on the data science uh, uh, part so that way the more APIs are um, in pipeline and already many APIs are given. The very popular uh, things are what we have given for the village development activity for the IAM Bangalore. So that uh, they are taking our um, APIs and they are trying to bring out a yeah, uh, village development plan activity. So that way uh, the um, different analytical uh, tools are exposed uh, also as a API and it is available to the uh, user. If you see that on, on an average, Bhuvan is receiving almost like 20 million uh, hits, almost like a 2 crore hits. Uh, it is coming to uh, Bhuvan from uh, 70,000 uh, unique um, uh, IPs and that is the uh, status what we are um, uh, having from the access point of view from uh, Bhuvan. So, uh, as I mentioned that uh, it is started as a simple uh, visualization tool in uh, 2009, but today you can see that more and more governance related applications are 
happening on one to achieve this one what we have done is we have done two major uh, things in the back end and the one uh, critical uh, activity in the front end so the two major activities the one is all the uh, application all the software all the um, uh, um, back end uh, processing capabilities whatever we are having everything is done using open source geospatial solution. So uh, there is no proprietary or there is no commercial software used in this particular um, part. So that is the way we are able to upscale it to the uh, in, uh, any uh, level. And we are also able to share our uh, package or our application or our solution to any ministry or any user who wants to have it. The another component is the all the data sets whatever we have stored and we are disseminating to the user it is strictly following the open geospatial consortium compliance services so that is the way the interoperability is ensured uh, in buan while we are doing these two things in the uh, back end and it is uh, making the more and more uh, robust platform for creating the data and organizing the data and disseminating the data but the ultimately when we want to uh, take this buan application to the billion people need in the country we have to have a close collaboration with the state and the central ministry and we have to bring more and more user centric application and we got that such kind of opportunity in 2015 where the honorable prime minister have chaired the national meet on space and we have evolved many applications so that is the way today you can see that that almost like 43 state and central ministry departments are on board and they are using buan and they are taking it for various governance applications so that is the way the buan is having the visualization of the multi date multi platform and multi sensor satellite data and various thematic data sets and free data downloads and near real time disaster services and crowdsourcing and it is also having the diverse um, geospatial application you name it whether it is the agriculture or it is a youth of us you will be having a to z any number of application which is running on one for various um, ministry so what are all the different capabilities are there because as i mentioned that these capabilities will be again further demonstrated by our uh, team and the visualization of 2d 2.5d and 3d it will be there so what you are seeing as a screenshot is the 2.5d where the building footprint is taken and it is extruded from the ground and it is putting as the um, some kind of pseudo uh, 3d view what we have created and here you can see that this is the way the 3d model are uh, in place and uh, when you are adding the texture from the ground and attaching to the, um, uh, the building you will be able to get the um, uh, detail uh, like this then uh, it buan is also a data clearing house you can see that it is available in a gridded format whatever the grid it is there it is nothing but yeah available of the data for that particular uh, area like once i select that particular grid you can see that what are all the data sets available for that particular place and you will be able to um, uh, download it and buan is also having variety of uh, thematic services uh, disaster services and weather ocean all the things are available of uh, ogc compliance services now the another thing is the asset mapping like many of the activities what is going on in the country like the prime minister Awas yojana for the house construction or the um, uh, any uh, um, uh, developmental activity going on in the minority concentration area last week we have released the application for uh, ministry of minority affairs under the pmjvk scheme what all the assets are created and that is going to be uh, geotagged and that way the asset mapping and the inventory is going to happen so this is the example of that particular thing then the another uh, component is the like as i was mentioning the Yuktadara, the planning point of view for that various uh, uh, geospatial processing or geo processing tools should be available and it should uh, run the process on the vector data and the raster data and it has to bring out the um, uh, different uh, uh, scenarios so, so that is the way the planning and the development is uh, supported and when we are speaking about the monitoring and evaluation point of view so what we are doing is we are supporting with the time series uh, uh, information from the gro ground from the mobile point of view on other side the time uh, series satellite data is also um, uh, put up and uh, all those uh, uh, satellite um, uh, services on the five or six uh, several 
uh, time frame satellite data is there based on that one the impact is uh, um, noted and monitored so that is the way the monitoring and evaluation is happening this is the typical example of integrated watershed monitoring program then the next thing is whatever the data sets is getting organized into buan like the, the typical example is you can see that this is the spatial information system on biomass potential from crop residues so you know that um, after the season like curry rabi and all the different uh, crop and once the residues are uh, mapped and it is available um, uh, as a spatial format it is posted on buan then the utility whatever has been developed on top of the buan it will have a raster based processing and it will give you the uh, probable uh, uh, location like suppose if i am looking for a Uh, industry i am looking for uh, i am going to develop a industry in that particular place then what is the uh, 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 residue available for that one uh, in that area and if i am uh, having that much residue how much glow uh, joule um, the uh, energy i can uh, create it and what is the nearby uh, infrastructure like the petrol bank or the um, uh, railway station or or any kind of uh, uh, water related information all those things will be coming as a simple Uh, summarized uh, report and it will be uh, available uh, to the user for the uh, free uh, download so that is the another example what you can um, get it on a decision making point of view then when we are coming for a Um, uh, reporting and advisory here you can see that whatever the data are coming from the end user it will also be disseminated to the experts and so that the experts also will give certain kind of uh, um, advice uh, based on the problem what is posted by the user it will again flow back to the um, users so that is the way uh, the end to end or the two way communication is also uh, uh, en um, enabled in buan so uh, Uh, that is the another thing what we are supporting with the uh, reporting and uh, advisory then next is the resource management of various natural resources related layers are available in buan and that is acc being accessible from the various users and um, the finally uh, uh, we have a, a variety of location based services on uh, running on buan uh, like uh, for uh, example if you take it um, the health facilities which is very crucial and critical uh, during the covid and we have put all those things and we have provided like the vaccination center and linked back with the uh, uh, covid api so that one can understand what that one or else uh, just a week ago we have released aadhar um, seva kendra's application on uh, buen so that uh, any user they can locate uh, that what is the nearby aadhar center and whether such uh, like if i am looking for a demography update whether center is available or not or if i am looking for a fresh aadhar uh, thing biometric thing whether such centers are available and user able to get the um, location based uh, information on another side the very critical thing is the vehicle tracking kind of thing so like whether it is a mobile raithu bazaar uh, tracking mobile vegetable cart uh, tracking or uh, the election commission vehicle tracking we have a uh, solution in place and you, uh, that is also right now being used for the switch auto trolley uh, tracking so basically all the garbage collection that uh, tracking is also happening so that is the way the location based services is running on buan and there is another um, typical example uh, from buan so if i again uh, uh, go little more deeper about the what are all the different capabilities what i have shown in the previous slide so routing navigation then proximity then multilingual then the conversion of the text uh, input to the map based thing adding the layer from the uh, shape file or raster or kml or wms on buen and making a terrain profile because underneath uh, the elevation data you can convert it as a terrain and you can download it then the clip and ship utility for uh, drawing your ai and downloading the data and the mobile application like um, when you are going to the deep forest you will not be having the gprs connectivity for that we have put a offline mobile application though basically the maps and the satellite data is cached and it is put up in the mobile phone so that you will be able to navigate from one location to another location with the available uh, base map so that is the way you can have your ai and you can download it and um, uh, put it on that one so that is the another uh, uh, example with reference to the offline application what we are uh, supporting in uh, buen then the next 
next thing is the various decision making tool like the election commission right to bazaar i have already uh, explained but another typical example is the bihar health emergency operation center so basically all the data sets what is available in uh, bhuvan uh, is uh, collated and made it uh, in a single or seamless way for the bihar but the very important thing is as soon as the cluster is identified and the point is uploaded onto bhuvan so immediately it will create a um, one kilometer two kilometer three kilometer five kilometer seven kilometer buffer and all the villages falling in that particular location and what is the population what is the age group and how many households are there all the details are collated and it is made available as a simple pdf to the user for download so that is the way uh, uh, they have taken that input and gone for a household survey so then the dynamic uh, print module uh, so basically uh, for uh, tripura forest for that whatever the plantation monitoring activity they are doing then finally they can download it as a pdf file using that pdf file um, uh, they will submit that uh, report that as uh, a authenticated uh, report then the near real time sms alert so what i want to highlight here is whatever the tools is available you can directly take it and use it in your um, application or else if you are looking for a similar kind of tool for your application so we can do the plug and play and so that the uh, uh, application can be quickly uh, customized that is the way we have brought out something called my bhuvan so the my bhuvan will enable you the uh, user to um, call the different layers what is available or what are all the different tools are available they can plug and play in that widget and they can do it so that is the another uh, example what i want to uh, highlight it then bhuvan is also offering a platform for doing various activity right now also our team is working on the uh, um, signature uh, creation or the training data sets creation for the tree outside forest mapping so for that we have brought out something called the unique bhuvan uh, mapper utility where you can digitize the different thing and finally you can download it as a shape file but um, if you see the real uh, or the original thing so it has been extended to the school uh, kids where the school kids used to map the uh, neighborhood areas and finally they will download it as a uh, uh, PDF file and they will take a print and they will submit it as part of that 9th standard and 10th standard MCRT syllabus. So that is a typical example what uh, uh, the online mapping utility what we have created and this is also being used for various NR census mapping activity in uh, NRSC that is also uh, uh, enabled for 50,000 scale uh, mapping. Uh, then a lot of uh, customized mapper solutions are also there like uh, delivery zone mapping with reference to the postal department or uh, the Karnataka forest department they want to um, uh, map all the uh, forest uh, that um, uh, land parcels so that for that also it is uh, enabled and it is provided in uh, Buwan. Then the different geoprocessing uh, capability like um, uh, for example uh, now uh, the using the uh, um, machine learning uh, thing what we are uh, doing is whenever the point is landing to Buwan, whether that uh, photograph is having the citizen information board or not we are detecting and we are showing that is one thing the second thing is as soon as the uh, photograph is landing to Buwan, we are also telling that whether it is a palm pond or shake dam or um, it is a avenue plantation or concrete road like that the automated classification is put up as soon as the data is landing to Bhuvan. so that is the one kind of analytics what is happening on another side we have we have 15 sorry uh, last 18 years of land use land cover 250k data on given any uh, xy location what is the land use in that particular place over the period or if you are drawing any oi within that oi what is the change of uh, land use land cover mm, you will get it as a simple json or you will get it as a uh, bar chart or um, uh, uh, I mean basically a charting library is also enabled so all these things are available as a AI as I was mentioning as a um, analytical um, uh, point of view so that way one can understand that for a given area or a given point what is the um, land use in that one what are the dynamics in that particular place they will be able to um, uh, get it then the bioenergy I have already um, uh, discussed on that one then uh, the on-demand EO services, like for example, uh, the simple Python code, what we have provided in Buwan, one can download and they can create the different uh, um, in the indices and they will be able to uh, visualize the data from uh, Buwan, what we are offering for the free uh, download. Then the uh, different geoprocessing capability, especially on the uh, Buwan planner uh, or uh, what we have provided for uh, um, 
geo manreha so that is the typical example um, from the geo processing uh, point of view then a uh, lot of collaborative uh, thing whether it is say uh, api or uh, grid based platform what we are uh, providing or a uh, state specific portal or in a summary a yeah, my bhuvan what we are calling you just a plug and play of various uh, tools or uh, uh, layers and you create your thing but and uh, when we are talking about all these uh, user centric or the citizen application citizen centric application we also have a quite amount of um, application for the strategic sectors like basically if you want to have anything in your local and if you want to have it in your high secured environment that also we are supporting and the uh, several examples are uh, running on uh, Buwan. And if I summarize the different layers, what is available in um, Buwan, uh, the, data, the satellite data is available from 360 meter to uh, 1 meter. Administrative boundaries are available from international boundary to the cadastral level. Then the road layer is available from golden quadrilateral to the footpath or car track. Uh, then uh, hydrology data sets are available from basin um, to the drainage uh, uh, layer. Uh, then the point of interest data and a variety of data sets are available for free download. As I mentioned that our ultimate aim is to have a interoperable solution so that the redundant effort and duplicate of services, all those things to be uh, taken care and all these things are provided from the high available uh, infrastructure what we are having from um, uh, Buwan. Uh, then um, uh, to go little more, uh, the NRC Open Your Data Archive will provide the data of course than uh, 24 meter and two year old data. And it is broadly custom, uh, I mean, uh, splitted like a satellite product, a terrestrial science product, ocean sciences, atmospheric and climate related product and a cryospheric product. Like each and every um, slide, what I am speaking, there is a separate detailed session. So this is just a overview. And what are all the products are there, how to download, how to use it, all those things will be explained by our colleague in the um, uh, successive uh, session. Then the same way under the thematic services, we are having almost like 14 different uh, uh, thematic data of a different scale, like one in 250,000 scale to one in um, 10,000. The data sets are available on a different team, whether it is a land use land cover or wasteland or geomorphology or lineament or salt affected, anything you can take it up. or geomorphology, you will be able to uh, take it and uh, move forward. Then under the... Um, uh, disaster services, you can see that uh, you have, um, uh, uh, you know that NRC is supporting um, uh, six natural disasters like a flood, cyclone, landslide, earthquake, forest fire and a drought. All those data sets are collated and put up on Buwan and it is not only a uh, um, uh, post uh, disaster thing certain places like for example uh, uh, the um, landslide and all based on our model the landslide prone areas are provided as a uh, warning uh, to the uh, people and then if you see that forest fire the near real time forest fire locations are detected and it is uh, disseminated to the user in 20 minutes of time then a lot of models are running like uh, the spatial flood early warning system um, uh, what we have put it that will that is available as part of the uh, flood so like that it is uh, like uh, the current data and the certain data sets are predicted uh, uh, data some of the data sets are uh, the damage assessment information is also available so that is the way uh, the data sets are available uh, for basically for the disaster management point of view we are providing the uh, support from uh, Buwan. Uh, then uh, as i mentioned that all these uh, services are ogc compliant services and all the data sets uh, what we are having and what we are disseminating, we are strictly using the open source solutions and we are disseminating the um, uh, data, the popular, the leaflet or the open layer APIs are used to create a dynamic um, a web uh, uh, interface and the Postgres Postgres is used for uh, database point of view and the Apache is used, used as a web server for disseminating the uh, um, uh, data. Um, like that, uh, all, uh, the different uh, tools, the open source solutions, solutions are used and uh, the Buwan is developed. The Buwan is a live and a typical example of uh, um, 100 terabyte of data and disseminating uh, more than 195 application and available uh, with the Pan India data to the A to Z application. So this is entirely is running an open source solution. So uh, that is the power of uh, um, open source and that is the power of Buwan when we want to take it for the entire country. So that is the way I want to uh, uh, apprise you that the, uh, the different tools and the tech, um, uh, uh, the data sets are available in Buwan. Uh, thank you very much uh, for keep, uh, sorry, uh, patient uh, listening and um, uh, all the best for your uh, uh, upcoming uh, session. As I mentioned that it is a real uh, overview 
and if you have any specific question i can take it or else uh, um uh, if it is going little more uh, detail i will uh, pass that question to the respective session you can take that uh, question in the respective session thank you all thanks again yeah thank you uh, very much uh, arul raj i think you have given uh, a wonderful overview of uh, the women geo portal so i think i have a few questions uh, that uh, probably you can take it up uh, now yeah sure yeah. i'll i'll take it i think one question uh, yeah i think the speaker name i have noted down like uh, not noted down uh, like uh, how we can simplify and create scenarios uh, in bhuvan geo portal yeah uh, now for that the two examples uh, right now i have um, uh, uh, i can uh, spell out one is the um, uh, the agroforestry site suitability thing what we have uh, provided uh, so basically whatever the data sets are available and the simple um ranking so basically the uh, multi criteria decision analysis has been uh, put up on bhuvan so uh, they can play with the different rank and weights and they can um, identify the um, suitable places that is one thing what is inbuilt and it is available the second thing is uh, the bhuvan planner point of view if you take it the predefined rules are available based on that rule set the probable locations are identified and once you know all the rule set and the probable location you can refine that rule again you can run the query and you can take it so this is with reference to the server but at the end uh, to the user what we are providing is we are providing the utility where user they can upload their own layers and they can run the process on uh, top of uh, bhuvan and they can derive the um, uh, uh, sites or they can identify the sites or they can make a scenarios that is also uh, possible uh, so that is the uh, way we are enabling the processing capability uh, in the uh, bhuvan then apart from that many uh, analytical tools are available as apis also if you want to take those things and you can consume uh, and you can process in your and also in the code like for example the popular the whatever i was talking about the i am bangalore example we are providing certain apis to them and they are consuming in their python uh, based uh, tool where they have built the analytical thing and we are providing the input to them so that is the way certain things are running on the um, bhuvan uh, server itself certain things are running on the user end certain things the user can upload the data and the process and they can take the output from one so that is also possible uh, well, and uh, one question is like uh, uh, this uh, 2.5d whatever we are offering is it's uh, uh, what application uh, more it does have besides visualization whatever the 2.5d uh, we are offering yeah right now if you see that um, it is a base what we are trying trying to create it like we in here we are having only the uh, building footprint once the building footprints are there with the available digital elevation model we could uh, get a approximate height of the building and based on that one the models are put up and the 2.5d put up but then what is the ultimate application you know it very well the simple uh, or the direct um, application is the uh, any kind of view shed analysis or any kind of uh, uh, shadow uh, based analysis or you want to find out certain kind of solar um, rooftop related activity like that uh, you will be getting like any surveillance related thing you are uh, having or you want to go for your city planning uh, so that kind of uh, application will be uh, further uh, developed using this particular data i'll take one more question because uh, the questions are uh, now popping up uh, very fast uh so what like one question is like what is the data precision and whether uh, whatever the data we are providing uh, is that a threat to the uh, the national security interest yes yes we are strictly adopting the security uh, uh, guidelines as per whatever the data sets we are putting we are strictly following our remote sensing data policy or the um, geospatial uh, recent uh, the guidelines so what has been uh, provided by the uh, country and um, it is thing as on date if you see that 1 meter data is available in the uh, public domain but um, uh, uh, now with the current uh, guidelines we are also working out to provide uh, more um, uh, uh, free data uh, better than uh, 24 meter what we are having or uh, better uh, uh, high resolution data sets are also we are planning to provide in the uh, public domain but otherwise the current um, data sets are in 1 meter uh, resolution uh, thank you arul i think uh, with that we'll uh, we'll uh, i mean end this uh, q and a session other questions i have noted it down probably we can uh, make a database of this one and we can 
uh, answer in, in a appropriate time. So thank you very much, Arul, uh, for your valuable time and your uh, talk on this particular uh, overview of GeoPortal. Um, so we'll move ahead with the next session. That is on the uh, Bhuvan framework and open layers. And uh, Mr. J. Sai Ramakrishna is here to address, I mean, speak on this particular Bhuvan framework and open layers. And I hope he has joined. Mr. Sai Ramakrishna, you are there. Uh, hello, sir. Hello. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so, uh, Sai Ramakrishna, sir. yeah. I mean, welcome to this uh, Bhuvan webinar. Uh, good, uh, thank you, sir. Good, uh, good morning, sir. Good morning, all. Uh, is my screen is visible? Screen is visible, but you can just introduce uh, yourself uh, for a uh, few seconds, and then probably you can mute your video. Uh, sure, sir. Thank. Uh, good morning, all. Uh, myself, uh, uh, Krishna. I'm working as a uh, web developer in Boon from 2015. So basically, I'm a full stack developer. So I will take a look in front end and back end. So today uh, I will be explaining about Bone Framework uh, and what are the open source tools that we have used uh, to establish this uh, uh, portal on the public platform. And what are the APIs that you can use. Open uh, means how you can integrate your own layers, uh, your own data into an, uh, like where you can bring your own portal using uh, with the help of our framework so basically uh, uh, while coming to the bond framework it has a simple uh, simplified into two parts uh, one is the right side where you will get the map visualization and the left side where you can have the user interaction so basically uh, what are the data sets that you have like suppose uh, you can generate an uh, map web map service or ogc service out of uh, geo server or map server or Mapnik, or so many ex uh, so softwares are there. So uh, those softwares, uh, which will uh, basically take uh, uh, data store as in the formats of shapefile or IMG, or even you can get it the data in from the Postgres itself with the help of PostGIS extension. So uh, uh, that you can uh, show vector data, raster data, or any uh, data that is having geo location from Postgres that you can show in the uh, in the uh, that you can render in the form of OGC with the help of map server or geo server. So then comes uh, the map once the uh, uh, layers are rendered we'll show this layers on the map viewer on the left uh, left hand side where you can see the bone satellite imagery and uh, uh, on the right hand side basically we'll have have the futures or editor where you can uh, play with the interaction. Suppose if you want to switch on the layer or switch off the layer, all these things you can do. So uh, the, uh, until this part, it will be happening on the server side. Uh, only the client side, what will be happening is that uh, we'll use open layers APIs so that uh, when the user is performing a particular action, suppose if you want to switch from base map to uh, satellite data. So that type of interactions will be writing on the client side with the help of open layers in JavaScript. So once the uh, client is uh, interacting with the uh, uh, HTML page, then automatically the response will hit to the server and the corresponding layers will be brought out onto the portal and it will be displayed. Uh, this is the uh, simplified bone framework. So basically, uh, while coming to the open source tools that we have used, uh, we are using like open uh, open layers API, which will be used for client side scripting and uh, it is under class of BST and geo server for serving uh, vector data and map server for uh, raster data. And here also we are using tile cache uh, for uh, uh, means directly giving cache to the user instead of rendering the data each uh, every time and on the fly. So basically what here happened is we initially generate the cache uh, for a particular raster layer. So and the rest, uh, request uh, instead of rendering the data, it will serve the data from the cache. So uh, tile cache we'll be using for that purpose. And PHP for server side scripting and the cache we are using uh, JSEC. And the discussion uh, forum we are using PHP bulletin board. And uh, relational databases, we are using Postgres uh, with the PostGIS extension enabled. And uh, for serving a uh, GeoServer, uh, we are using Apache Tomcat web server. 
and for ftp we are using apache ftp at the same time for serving web pages also we are using apache and for android based mobile app we have used phone gap now uh, we are going to react native and uh, for bone uh, mapper we have used id editor and uh, uh, client side scripting like J uh, jquery javascript ujs bootstrap so many open source libraries that we are using <coughs> introduction uh, now i'll just tell you about introduction to openlayers uh, openlayers is a uh, client side uh, uh, web mapping library openlayers make it easy to put uh, like any ogc uh, rendered maps uh, like, uh, it can be displayed you uh, in the form of map tiles or uh, marker load layer from any source so basically you need to have a uh, layer url and layer name for that uh and moreover it is developed for the use of geographic information for of all kinds like uh, uh, uh you can either edit the w uh, edit the layer using wfs or you can consume the layer and uh, for visualization using wms so many formats are there so uh, these formats you can directly use on the client side with the help of open layers and uh, moreover it is completely free and open source so uh, what is open layer it's basically an api uh, for building map uh, web map applications it is a client side scripting it uses ajax and support open standards it is uh, it is under bst licensed so while coming to the history of the project uh, uh, it is started in 2005 and uh, motivated by mercator uh, business needs uh, uh, with uh, it has gone through several revisions and uh, it uh, version 2.0 has uh, released in 2006 from november 2007 onwards it is gone to open source uh, forum and uh, under uh, open source ga special foundation project from that time onwards it is classed under bst license where uh, any user can consume the scripts for uh, means uh, generating a web map uh, applications so basically uh, openlayers uh, basic apis that we have is like uh, uh, in the framework that we providing to the users uh, currently in the training section we will be providing openlayers 2.0 13.1 but currently there is the uh, version is like 6 so uh, basically this is the openlayers document uh, where you can use uh, like how to use the uh, openlayers api the detailed document is provided here but to uh, for the simplification uh, we will be showing how to uh, basically use this apis so suppose if you want to consume any wms api uh, this is the snippet of the code you have to use first uh, you have to declare an html tag then you have to uh, declare the script tag you have to include the open layer script tag so once that is done uh, you have to initialize a map variable like div uh, with ids map you can uh, map uh, means you can name any id but currently since we are uh, for uh, means easy purpose we are uh, declaring a one particular div with ids map so once uh, 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 that id has been declared we are initially uh, initializing the open layers map variable api so uh, for initializing uh, uh, map uh, new open layers dot map with uh, what are the id that you given that you have to mention it here once that is done you simply have to add an wms layer so uh, for uh, for adding the wms layer this is the api open open layers dot layer dot wms so here uh, what is the layer name you want to give layer url and layer name so uh, uh, i am simply i'm giving open layers wms uh, as an uh, as a title for that layer that i'm going to add and the, what is the layer url that going to add like http labs dot mercator.com wms vmap0 these are the two important parameters layer url and layer layer names so what are the layers that you want to add to this wms layer so currently i'm adding a basic layer uh, to this uh, wms variable then once i declared the wms variable now how to add the layer so simply I, if i call map dot add layer wms it will add that particular layer to the map and ma uh, map dot zoom to extent uh, it will automatically zoom to uh, zoom to that location suppose now now if you open this page uh, what will happen is it will load that particular layer that is coming from mercator.com uh, which will load the basic layer onto the map and it will zoom to that particular extent 
so uh, this is this is the basic APS and uh, there are uh, uh, some, some more APS like you can uh, overlay between two layers, layer switching, pan zoom bar, like you can uh, add zoom buttons, you can set attribution for the layer, scale line, power view map, so many functionalities are there. So if you want to add that particular functionality, so suppose if you want to add any uh, one layer on top of the other, simply declare one WMS layer, like new open layer dot WMS, what is the layer name, uh, title you want to give, layer name, URL, and uh, other parameters like transparent, true, or if you want to load the image in the form of JPEG or PNG, all that uh, variables, you can declare it here. Uh, once the you, your uh, WMS layer declaration is completed, you can simply put map.add layer, the what are the layer, WMS layer you want to overlay. So once you add this particular layer, it will be uh, the layer will be sitting on top of the layer that you added initially. Uh, similarly, if you want to add controls to the map, suppose layer switcher, so you have to simply write map.addcontrol and you open layers control dot layer switcher. Sim similarly, pan zoom bar, similarly attribution, scale line, wow you map. Once you add this controls to the map automatically in the initialization variable, automatically this control will be appearing on the map. <coughs> Uh, frame, uh, now I'll be talking about framework. Uh, generally, uh, in any bone portal, you can see two parts. It will be divided into mainly two parts. One is the right hand side where you can see the map and one is the left hand, left hand side where you can see the user interaction. Uh, uh, like a, uh, bring, uh, Basically, the framework will bring you like a visualization of satellite uh, vector uh, raster data or vector data or a hybrid where you can see the labels on top of satellite. Uh, you can simply load any KML file or you can load any WMS layer or zoom to particular layer extent or swipe a layer, WMS layer. Suppose if you want to compare a time series data, then you can use swipe option. So, so uh, uh, this is the basic framework. So, uh, this is the suppose uh, uh, on the right hand side. These are the options will be available for you. Uh, suppose if you want to load a KML uh, load data, you will declare an HTML variable uh, where you want to provide it as a checkbox option. So when the users click on the checkbox, you have to load the KML. Similarly, suppose if you want to add WMS layer, when the user click on uh, LULC uh, for particular test state, then the uh, uh, action will be initiated on the client end and the request will be sent to the server. Now, if you want to, uh, suppose if, if you want to see the, uh, like a change or if you want to swipe between the layers, you can simply click on activate swipe. So basically it will show the KML and the LULC change. Suppose what are the active layers that are there, that you can uh, swipe from left to right. So you can see the ch uh, change uh, or any particular analysis you can do. Similarly, Zoom to Andhra Pradesh or Zoom to Hyderabad. These are the some extensions you can use. So basically, this is our UI. So uh, as I told you earlier, uh, right hand side, it is completely the map part where you can see the uh, raster data and you can see the options like map, satellite, hybrid and terrain. Uh, uh, where uh, the user can switch out from uh, raster, uh, means uh, vector data to raster data or, or any uh, 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 terrain information that you can uh, switch from here by clicking. On the left hand side, these are the basic uh, main user interactions that will be there. So based on the uh, user interaction from here, uh, the right side changes will happen. Suppose if you load, uh, if you want to load KML for weather data, automatically the weather stations will be uh, added onto the map. <clears throat> Or similarly, if you want to load any LULC layer, when the user clicks on that, the uh, LULC for Andhra Pradesh will be overlaid onto the map. So, uh, welcome to the file structure. Uh, basically, there are two particular file locations. Uh, one is like uh, uh, the uh, right hand side part of the part, right hand side and the left hand side. So basically, the uh, right hand side uh, index.php bone.js uh, will uh, usually contain the map uh, map part like uh, raster data or the layer switching controls between map, satellite, or hybrid. 
uh, on the left hand side uh, there is a tools uh, there is one particular folder called tools where you will having training.php or training.js where uh, you can add the options like uh, load kml load wms or activate swipe zoom to layer extent so basically what will happen is uh, since all the major activities will happen left hand side so uh, we'll be touching only this particular folder like tools training.php and training.js so what are the layers you want to add or what are the controls you want to add you simply uh, uh, declare the html variable in training.php and uh, and the actions that has to be performed suppose on click you have to load that layer so that perf uh, that actions you have to mention in the training.js and the rest of the things uh, uh, will be taken care <coughs> Suppose uh, this is envy.js, uh, this is nothing but the training.js. Suppose uh, here we already written some functions. So uh, uh, simply uh, like uh, if you want to load any particular layer, WMS layer, uh, you simply call load map, what is the layer URL and layer name. Automatically uh, when the function is called, that uh, layer will be loaded. Similarly, zoom to layer, this is the function. So you have to give a lower longitude, lower latitude, and upper longitude and upper latitude. So or, or zoom to particular cent, uh, zoom to center based on the level, zoom levels. Suppose you can give a longitude and latitude and the level. Suppose if I want to zoom to part, fifth level of particular la, uh, longitude and latitude, you have to call this function. And uh, if you want to switch between layers or if you want to any uh, layer, if you want to remove any layer, you can just uh, call this function remove layer and the layer name, a layer variable that you are declared during WMS uh, uh, initialization. And similarly, uh, for uh, loading KML layer, load KML, what is the name you want to display and layer you are. KML, basically KML uh, you are. <coughs> So this is one example. Suppose in the left hand side, we initially declared one checkbox for adding weather data. So uh, this is the HTML variable you will be declaring input type checkbox, a value, uh, current weather information, and on click. This is the action that you are declaring in the HTML. Like oh, if the uh, if it is clicked, then you load KML. So actually the uh, load KML, what is the layer uh, name? and layer uh, URL. So basically this is calling this load KML display name and layer URL. Uh, if, if it is checked, then it will load the KML. Otherwise, if it is uh, if it is not checked, I mean, if you're uh, deactivating the checkbox or removing the check and uh, un unchecking the box, then it will uh, remove any pop-up that you have clicked on the map. At the same time, it remove the layer. So. Uh, what is the layer name you are defined here that it will remove it so basically on checking of the uh, uh, on checking of the checkbox weather data you will see the weather stations that is added onto the map with the help of load kml function and on clicking of the uh, uh, any wms uh, uh, any point on the map any weather station on the map you will be displaying like la uh, longitude latitude temperature all this parameter will be displayed which is loaded from the kml which is already defined in the kml and if you uncheck the uh, uh, box uncheck the weather data uh, option automatically it will deactivate the uh, pop-up and it will remove the layer name and it will remove the layer from the map so simply you will get this uh, plain raster data onto the map similarly suppose if you want now you if you want to load the wms layer you De, uh, you will de, uh, define it input id type checkbox value llc on click if this touch it then you will call the load map function for the load map you have to pass layer url and layer name so once that is passed uh, uh, if this touch checked, you will pass you will call load map otherwise you call remove layer so basically when the user checks uh, the uh, llc of the map uh, on the presence will be loaded onto the map and if you unchecks automatically it will be removed from the map uh, suppose if you want to swipe player if you want to add swipe player then uh, this is the function that we are using so you declare the layer uh, first you add the uh, both the layers then you'll call the swipe player one 
it will it will check some uh, layer whether the any layer is available for swiping or not once uh, if uh, uh, the layer is available and the uh, activate swipe button was clicked it will activate the swipe between the two layers so if you once you deactivate the swipe it will automatically deactivating uh, de it will automatically deactivate the swipe so these are the uh, inbuilt functions that you have written so you can simply you uh, take our framework and use this function for loading any kml or uh, md wms layer or if you want to perform any user interactions like suppose if you on click those functionalities you can add this is the basic in in this uh, application suppose uh, uh, here uh, the right hand side there is the map part and left hand side we are added more options suppose if you want to load wildlife sensory wetlands all this uh, type of uh, uh, means ui interactions you can do in the training.php and training.js and uh, see uh, what are the actions you have declared and perform it will be reflecting on the on the right side of the map so now i uh, will go to the tools and capabilities <coughs> like we have we have geo processing tools like aoi analysis suppose if you want to find uh, like uh, what is the llc statistics for a particular area like so how much cropland is there fallow land wetland uh, are any uh, water bodies are there or not or if it is any scrubland all the type of information you will get uh, we we are having like a geo processing a, uh, aoi analysis where the user can uh, create their area of interest and click on analysis <coughs> for selected thematic data sets so uh, once the user clicks on that then the llc statistics will be displayed like based on the uh, category it belonging to and we, you can also perform buffer analysis suppose within the particular latitude longitude what are the available bus stations uh, or you can see the uh, motor, um, i mean uh, diversional centers all the pois that you are having you can get get through the proximity or buffer analysis uh, this is one more uh, uh, geoprocessing tool that we are having and we are also having query shell analysis a query shell analysis nothing but you can build your own query for getting the data uh, uh, because uh, like uh, it is based on the db classes that we are having suppose if you want to uh, if you want to see llc only the scrub land uh, uh, for visualization you simply like a category type and uh, what is the operation you want to perform whether it is equal to not equal to greater than less than these are the some basic operation you can perform on the query shell analysis and what is the class you want to see so once you click on that automatically uh, the class will be displayed onto the map and uh, and some of the time, uh, some of the applications will dynam dynamically publish the layer and will brought the display onto the map similarly uh, we have like a clip and ship facility for uh, downloading of 250 data lc 250k data to the users so uh, initially uh, they have to go to our thematic dashboard they'll click on uh, uh, they have to log into the portal and they click on uh, uh, they have to select the lc 250k team and they can click on get data as mentioned here and uh, once they click on get data they'll uh, they can submit a request so based on the approval and the area of interest that they want to have uh, once it is approved the uh, what are the area that uh, user has uh, drawn onto the map that area llc will be clipped and the uh, original source file has to uh, will be sent to the user with uh, with all the raw data and parameters <coughs> it will be dis uh, disseminated in the form of ftp like we will be uh, pro once the request is raised and approved we will be providing user uh, ftp user details tells and password to the particular user so he can log in and download the raw, uh, raw data and uh, and now users can create shape file uh, using uh, your po um, mapper tool where user can uh, on daily day to day basis they can draw the aos what are uh, based on their interest and uh, they can download in the form of shape file also and they can add it to it's any n number of attributes to that particular shape file that i have drawn and all the attributes uh, will be built in the form of shape file while downloading 
and uh, they can even download on day to day basis or from my time period so this uh, create shapefile facility is also available and uh, uh, user can perform on login basis also suppose uh, uh, if he login and he want to uh, see the data based on his interest for that particular login only the, uh, he can uh, discharge the area of interest and he can download the data and uh, now add shapefile facility it is already available in uh, uh, bowen 2d and all the bowen applications uh, simply you have to click on add shapefile you have to uh, input the parameters later Layer URL and layer, layer name, and it even supports on the fly projection. Suppose if you uh, mention it, it can be on any different projection, but automatically on the fly it will be reprojected to our uh, EPSG 4326. And we are also providing uh, like a color option uh, while uploading for any particular uh, 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 like uploading from a shape file. And we are also having a add KML, add shape file or a raster file you can add onto the map all the facilities are available and uh, when you when the user is adding kml also on click future uh, of visualization of attributes also is present and the client side and server side validations for upload is already taken into the consideration when any user is uploading to the uh, to our server and simply put, it is being using OpenLess API, and uh, we also declare unified select control for all the vector layers. Suppose you, you can define any particular name. If it is caches, it won't create any hamper, hamper to that application. And uh, basically, it will dynamically create the DOM elements based on that uh, the layer will be displayed. <coughs> So we are also having WMS manager. Suppose if you want to find out uh, from a particular service, what are the layer services that we are providing, then you can use this WMS manager. And uh, simply you have to put uh, what is the layer URL that you are searching for. And if you click on load layers and, the, uh, and for that particular service, what are the layers that are available? All the list of services that will be shown here. Based on that, uh, if you simply click on, click on load layer, uh, uh means a, a low layer that will be added onto the map so in this way you can use uh, wms manager uh, uh, so for adding a n number of layers that is serving from a single service uh, we are also having routing uh, which uh, which will find the shortest route between two given points using pg routing which is an open source library uh, and the process will happen like the creation of database handling route queries and network topology between road road network and data that has been created and data verification topological correction splitting of two final results that we have achieved through this and uh, suppose uh, we have like a, a tourism portal for Amritsar. So uh, there uh, we have added uh, using the open source libraries using P with the help of PG routing. User can select the source and destination and we'll, we will provide the shortest route with the directions. When the Bowen data service, welcoming to the Bowen data service, uh, all our services are, are OGC compliant and uh, we have uh, like multiple themes thematic data sets like LLC, wasteland, geomorphology, lineament, urban sprawl, erosion, etc. And this will be available in different time periods. Some of the data it will be uh, on uh, will be happening on a yearly basis and some will be on a five year cycle. Uh, and uh, well, entire complete list of uh, uh, data that we are providing to the user community, you can get it from our bone store. Either it can be in the form of uh, download using the uh, open data archive that we are having or, or, the, or in the form of WMS service that you can directly consume from our uh, APS and you can display on any portal. So entire complete list, you can get it from our bond store. And uh, suppose this is one such example. So suppose uh, if you are calling any uh, uh, map libraries, either leaflet or open layers, simply if you put layer URL and layer name and that open layers uh, APR or uh, leaflet API will kind of request in the form of you. Uh, 
URL. So once the user uh, means once the request is sent from the client to the server, this particular type of images will be rendered uh, and it will be served to the client. So in this way, uh, you, uh, any uh, like it can it will it no need to hosted in Bhuvan, but it can be hosted at your end also. So with that uh, thing, you can directly consume our services. And you can uh, bring out your own maps or portals into uh, web map portals into your uh, applications. And uh, uh, since our uh, services are OGC compliant, you can consume the service in the uh, software also, either RGS or QGS. Simply you have to add the layer with the layer URL and layer name. So the same functionality it is displayed in the Bowen 2D at the same time in QGS. And uh, some of we are also supporting WM, uh, WMTS and WMS for consumption. And uh, our colleagues will display uh, like how to consume our services while they are demonstrating thematic services. Uh, there we, we have provided the list of uh, uh, like how to consume the service from layer URL and layer name, or you can even get it from Bowen store. Like different URLs that we, from that uh, different URLs that we are providing. Uh, this is it from my side. Thank you. If you have any questions, I will take it down. Uh, Sai Ramakrishna. Yes, sir. Specific questions. I think there are some uh, general utility questions that have been posted. So probably we can uh, take those questions as an appropriate time when we start the application uh, day lectures also. Okay. So for the moment, uh, I think uh, there are no uh, questions as far as on the your uh, uh, framework and open layers have uh, concern. So probably I'll keep you posted uh, if some questions uh, arise in the chat box. So probably you can take up the question. But one general question is, uh, do we have a mobile compatible version of Bhuvan is one question. So probably you can uh, uh, try to answer that one. Yes, sir. Uh, we have a bone compatible version. We have like bone light where uh, uh, bone light application it is there on the portal. You can just simply click on that. It will be like basically it will be opened in the web browser like uh, it is a bootstrap enabled. So it will be fit into all devices. And we are having like a PO pocket uh, bone where uh, a user can download it and you can uh, the, it is an applicable for only Android devices where they can use it is built on uh, core I mean sir, and uh, 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 built on a core React APS, uh, React Native, so you, they can use this pocket bone for visualizing your data on, on the mobiles, basically on Android mobiles. Otherwise, if they want to see the web enabled portal, they can either check on bone light. So that is already available in the portal. Thank you. Question, I don't know whether you can take it. Can, I mean, uh, can I get an LULC map in shapefile from Bhuvan? Uh, yes, sir. Only LULC 250K uh, that, that you can get in the form of raw data. Uh, rest of the data you can only consume through service. Okay, uh, thank you, uh, uh, Sai Ramakrishna, uh, for, your, uh, thank you. for your lecture and also taking up uh, some of the questions. Uh, so this, uh, uh, in general, I mean, uh, is about the uh, the framework architecture and how to interface, uh, interact, and retrieve and display the data. So this is basically, uh, in essence, what our uh, Sai Ramakrishna has covered. So probably if there are any questions uh, that you want to clarify, you can uh, put it in the chat box. So we'll take it to the uh, respective speakers. Uh, so your questions uh, we are picking up from the chat box. Uh, so there are uh, questions related to like what will be the pattern of the quiz. So the pattern of the quiz is uh, multiple choice questions. So for uh, each day quiz, there will be uh, 10 to 12 questions, uh, but it will be uh, 10 or greater than 10 questions only between 10 to 15. So whatever the account that has been shared with you, that is on the e, uh, that is on the e class uh, platform. So you need to log in with that uh, credentials and uh, then you will get a link to attempt that quiz but the quiz will be uh, enabled only once the session uh, is completed. So then you will be able to attempt that quiz and it is a uh, one day single attempt quiz only. And uh, like this, you will be given three quizzes. 
So for uh, day two also, there will be one more quiz and day three also one more quiz. So once you are uh, completed the attempt of the quiz and also given your feedback, uh, then uh, the consolidated certificate will be generated. Because this is a, I mean, a merit-based quiz, you need to score above certain uh, cutoff. Only then you will be eligible for uh, getting that certificate. So as uh, I mean told in the morning, so kindly be attentive because most of the questions of the quiz will be coming from whatever the sessions that are covered during the each talk. So you can pay more attention to the uh, talk in order to answer the questions comfortably. So we'll move on to the next talk that is on the Bowen APIs and implementations for application development. And this will be covered by Vijay Krishna. So he's also with the Bhuvan Geo Portal team. Uh, uh, Krishna, you are there? Yes, sir, I'm here, sir. Uh, welcome to this uh, Bhuvan webinar. So yes, if you are ready, uh, probably you can share your uh, presentation screen and uh, you can go ahead with the presentation. Thank you. Uh, is my screen visible, sir? Yeah, it is visible. Please go yeah. ahead. Okay. So my name is Vijay Krishna. I'm working as a software developer in uh, Bhuvan Geo Portal area. So I will be covering uh, Bhuvan APIs and services for application development. So majority of this talk is basically uh, tuned towards uh, software developers and uh, those who want to use Bhuvan services in their own applications, be it uh, web applications or otherwise. So it will be most of most of it will be of a technical use case, but uh, you can see how to access data and other things also in this uh, lecture. So I, uh, without any de delay, I'll start the lecture. Uh, so, so we'll first see what application programming interface is. So basically, API is nothing but application programming interface. That means. Uh, it basically interfaces between two different applications. So it's basically a set of classes, functions, routines, or protocols that have uh, help avoid writing all the low-level codes and to perform a specific action. That means you don't have to do all the necessary coding, background coding. You can directly access uh, from someone else's work so that you can easily access these uh, uh, applications or uh, data sets that you need. So it basically defines how uh, software components should interact with each other. And it, uh, it makes it easier to develop a program by providing all the building blocks. So this, uh, the programmer has to put those things together. So and web services are basically an API uh, just wrapped in HTTP or HTTPS. HTTP and HTTPS are uh, basically a protocols on the web, how to transfer data between two systems or two, uh, two IPs. So that's uh, the introduction for APIs. Uh, then we uh, coming to Bowen APIs, we kind of have two different APIs. One is uh, normal APIs and one are uh, some others are web APIs. Normal APIs, I think you have already seen uh, open layers in the previous lecture. So no, uh, open layer APIs are basically examples of normal uh, APIs that are basically done on a code level APIs. That means instead of calling some complex functions, you call a simple function. Uh, so that is uh, an op no example of code level abstraction. And uh, Bowen APIs basically provides uh, uh, further abstraction for using these open layer functions. And uh, in the same way, it hides the algorithm complexity and other uh, data, necessary required data uh, aspects and provides the output in a standard format so that user can directly use that output. So uh, further into the presentation, I will show you some examples of where we are using and uh, uh, other details of uh, APIs available in Bowen. Uh, so these are basically a normal APIs that are uh, code level APIs. So here we are seeing uh, some open layers API. So 
the red color highlighted ones are basically open layers functions or class that are open layers api and in bhuvan we do uh, uh, basically wrap these uh, uh, open layers apis to create a simple name so instead of de defining all these uh, layers and uh, source parameters all these parameters if you, you can directly use bhuvan apis uh, basically this load layer function give the layer name and layer url and the display name so that you don't need to know all these informations you just need need to know these informations to actually add a layer so that's how we simplify things and uh, create a, a, a normal api so that it is easier for the users to use so coming to bhuvan web apis we have a portal uh, which is accessible at uh, uh, bhuvan-app1.nrsc.gov.in slash api which is our uh, bhuvan api home page we regularly update uh, this page with uh, new apis whenever uh, they are available so i will show you a demo also uh, in the uh, further part of the presentation so uh, so for example this is uh, how we use our lulc statistics so uh, in the normal scenario, you need to take uh, actual data that is raw data or this uh, any software to read the data, basically like QGIS, RGS or Python or some other data. You need to have all these software related information as well. And then to uh, an algorithm to tool and uh, to find the statistics in that particular data for that given AOI. So that is the normal scenario of how you actually calculate statistics in uh, LULC statistics. But uh, in, in Bowen, we are providing a simple uh, URI web service. You just pass the AOI that is area of interest uh, in this is so this is called well, well known text format, WKT format. So this is just either a polygon or multi polygon you need to send and uh, uh, our access token, which is so we have a access token system. That means uh, so you need to generate an access token uh, by logging into our portal and using that token, you can use any APIs that are available in Bowen. So this is one particular thing. So if you uh, use this uh, uh, URL and pass the uh, LULC, uh, uh, LULC statistics, and then uh, geom geometry of that particular area of interest you need and the, along with access token, you will get an output uh, like this. So this is the state is uh, Karnataka and land use code one is this much square kilometers. So all these details will be available in our portal, uh, how to actually get information out of this, what is this L01, L02. When we actually go to the portal, we'll see there what uh, all these defines. So you'll basically get a simple uh, JSON array out of it, and you can use this JSON array in whatever, whichever application you need further. So this is one example of LULC statistics, how we simplify actually getting statistics using APIs. So then I think you have already seen our Bowen data services. Maybe I'll show you uh, our Bowen store once again, what all services we are providing. So all our services are OGC compliant. That is, they are either in WMS or WMTS, and which can be accessed across different, uh, different applications. And then we are using uh, metadata for formats of National Spatial Data Infrastructure 2.0 format. So whatever uh, standard formats are there, we are providing metadata in those uh, uh, format. And then we are using multiple uh, theme, theme, uh, theme, themes that are available, LULC, Wasteland, Duomorphology, Urban Spall, and other things. So all these details are available. Maybe we'll see a demo later in the session. So this is uh, Bowen Maps API. So Bowen Maps API is nothing but uh, you you might want an application where you want to show something on uh, on a map. So basically, uh, so something uh, uh, so you can use our Bowen Maps directly in your application to actually showcase your application. So, so this is an example where uh, ECIL has used our application during COVID. So they have used uh, used our uh, Bowen base map and district uh, district data to show what is the number, what are the number of cases of uh, COVID cases that are available, in, uh, that are prevalent in this uh, particular district. So this is why this is a district wise information of that uh, COVID cases, which was uh, live during uh, first wave and second wave of uh, COVID. Uh, this was the application developed by ECIL, but the services are provided by Bowen, the map services. So in this, uh, what we are doing is we are actually creating a leaflet based API. <laughs> so we are providing uh, functionalities to use 
markers, polygons, or geojson, state data, district data. All this information we are giving at a, is a service, and users can take those services and create their own applications for any 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 use. So basically, it's very easy to use. So basically, all they have to do is have a little knowledge of JavaScript and HTML. Then they can call all these functions. So uh, once the basic step is, you just have to create a map view. So you have to give an ID of map, and you have to call uh, three uh, files from our uh, data uh, from our servers. Basically, one CSS file and uh, JavaScript files, uh, and then you need to just initialize. Initialize the map. So this is a function init map function to create a map and uh, with center uh, latitude and longitude and the zoom level. So this will return a map uh, looking like this uh, with the base map. And then you can call uh, further APIs uh, to create this uh, uh, markers, polygons. I will show you an example of this as well in the later session. So this is how uh, people call Bowen Maps API. Uh, so these are some other examples. These functionalities can be used in mobile applications as well. So this is one more uh, function, one more uh, implementation by ECIL and CDAC, where they are showing they are using IoT devices uh, and getting location and uh, showing that uh, uh, location and on Bowen Maps. So that they can monitor patients, health of patients, different heartbeat, SpO2, all these details of a particular patient. So, so uh, they can visualize on, on a map uh, along with uh, critical information of the patient and whether the patient is actually uh, uh, under quarantine or is he moving around. All these details also can be uh, are being monitored by ECIL. And similarly, uh, CDAC is showing uh, confirm, confirmed cases and received, uh, recovered cases. Uh, using for COVID statistics. So the, this is one more example where IMD is utilizing Bowen services to actually uh, 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 pre, pre, I mean, showcase their nowcast data. So that means uh, what, are, what is the current weather in that particular uh, location. All these details are being uh, taken with the location and using uh, pop-ups like this, uh, they are actually showing the location, uh, I mean, location information along with the weather information. So now cache data is also being shown. Similarly, there are other use cases where uh, Indian Railways is also using uh, Bowen map to actually locate trains and stuff. Uh, so what is the current location of your uh, train and how delayed it is? All these information are also being uh, shown in uh, Indian Railways on Bowen Maps. So this is the presentation part of it. We will go and see a, a small demo on all this information. So, so, so this is our Bowen homepage. I think you might have already, already know this. So we have a special application and then uh, So this is our uh, Bowen uh, API homepage. That is bowen-app1.nrc.gov slash API. So this is our uh, Bowen API homepage. And then in this, you are uh, you will see uh, different types of uh, 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 APIs available. So one is proximity. In this, we have three different uh, APIs. One is uh, postal and hospital proximities. So using this API, we are actually providing uh, 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 for hospital details and uh, proximity details. As I already told, uh, you will need a, a token for this, uh, for utilization of uh, these APIs. I'll show you how to create the token as well. So for all these APIs, we are giving uh, input URLs and then introduction of what that API does. And then uh, what are the request parameters that you need to send along with those uh, units of those parameters. And then uh, you will also get uh, the sample output, uh, which is, uh, that means what, what details you will get actually from uh, out of this uh, API. So we'll see how to create a, a token for this. So for creating token, there is an, a tab called access token here. You just click on access token. And so you need to log in uh, before uh, to get this access token. So you just click on welcome uh, login button here. So you'll, uh, you'll be redirected to our CAS page. So I am using with a, a test login right now.
so i am logging with the text login right now you can create your own login uh, information for actually accessing these details so uh, so we will take this example itself so you can use it in a browser or any application that you need so we will go to the access token so this is the, uh, the page to get your tokens so we have different kinds of thieves so currently we are in uh, hospital and uh, postal details so we will uh, select that particular theme that you need the data for and then you click on access token so you will uh, get an access token and this will expire in uh, within 24 hours so for 24 hours you can use this token otherwise you need to uh, uh, create a new token and access the apis so all you need to give is you have to give this token here so based on this token, you will get a, a, a JSON array showing all the details of uh, latitude location and facility name and all these information that are relevant to you. You can take and use it in your own applications. So this is one example of how you create a token and how you actually uh, use it. Similarly, we have a village, village geocoding. So in village geocoding, we are providing you uh, census data of any village across India. So so uh, you just have to uh, give the URL and the corresponding input of your uh, village name uh, and then and the token specified token for that selected team. And then you will get uh, uh, all the village ID, number of households, total population, male population, female population. All these details you will be able to get. Uh, so currently we are providing you uh, 2011 data. So, but once we get uh, 2021 data as well, we'll update uh, with that as well. Uh, so similarly, village reverse, uh, reverse geocoding is nothing but, so for a specified latitude and longitude, what is the particular, what is the village that is uh, uh, that is there in that latitude and longitude? So you will get the similar information, but not from the village name, but from the latitude and longitude. So this is village reverse, uh, reverse geocoding. And then thematics, coming to thematic statistics, we have four different statistics. One is LULC 50K statistics. I think you might have already seen our LULC uh, thematic data sets, so which are available in uh, Bowen uh, app. So we'll go there. So this is our, uh, all the, uh, this is where all you can get all the thematic uh, data sets, uh, LULC 50K and uh, LULC uh, 250K. All these details you will get uh, from here. So uh, instead of getting as a uh, service, you can also get directly uh, statistics from your from our service. So which uh, will provide either it as either as a, uh, a district level or uh, for a state level. So we have uh, right now uh, uh, statistics available for, uh, for 2005, 2006. 2011 12 and then 15 16 also so if you pass uh, district code or state code as per the uh, details provided uh, on the website you will get a, a lulc statistics for that particular state or district so with uh, in square kilometers so these are the uh, land uh, land use classes so l01 is nothing but urban built up l02 is nothing but uh, rural built up so all the classes Information is also available along with uh, the number of uh, the value or area value of that particular uh, class. So this is how you use uh, LULC statistics, 50K statistics. And similarly, we have this AOI also. So I'll show you an example of how to use this AOI. So we have already seen that URL here. So basically what is available in this URL is nothing but, uh, so you are actually calling this url so and then uh, just one second so this is the url for our uh, ay statistics and here you are passing a geom property which is a well known text uh, polygon uh, or multi polygon uh, uh, whatever it is so this is uh, one thing then you need to take a token uh, sim similar to the way i have shown you earlier and then you just have to uh, use it in your application or your web service and you will get uh, different states and the uh, land use uh, codes for those states. And the area is in uh, square kilometers. So this is one more example. And then uh, we have uh, one more uh, other example uh, for getting a pie chart as well. So you will get uh, a pie chart of all these statistics. 
and similarly this is lulc 250k statistics this is a year by statistics so we'll get uh, from 2004 2005 to 2018 19 uh, you will get all the stat statistics for all the years uh, in json format so you can either uh, uh, select a single year in this json format or multiple years or you can get all the years as well so this is one of the, uh, one example uh, for uh, so for a particular you can also send a point or a polygon so for point you need to just send the latitude and longitude and uh, so all the details of how you actually pass these parameters are also available in the portal itself and uh, the output will be a json array containing uh, of particular year and then the description of that uh, particular location so suppose you are uh, taking a particular latitude and longitude location so you will have a, a single uh, land use land cover option so in the 2004 2005 uh, year it is a, a description is drawn and 2005 2006 is a karif uh, karif crop and then 2006 2007 again it is a karif crop so uh, across the years how the land use has changed for that particular uh, latitude and longitude you can know the details uh, from this uh, location statistics Uh, and you can also send a, a, a AOI also. So similar, similarly to that uh, 250 50k statistics, you can send a polygon of uh, in well-known text format and the year uh, and the year and uh, what uh, what kind of output you need. So in this case, we are showing uh, different kinds of outputs. We are show, we are giving it as a graph and we are giving it as a, a, a JSON also. so whatever uh, way you, the user is uh, user requires you can select accordingly so in, in this case uh, so this is the example of a graph for example so across years you will get a, what is that uh, what does that aoi aoi consists and what kinds of different lulc is available in that aoi all these details will be provided as a graph so this is one more example of uh, how to use our uh, lulc statistics so coming to routing uh, we have uh, only one so i think you might so this is developed using uh, uh, shortest path api so i'll give you an example of how to use this so suppose uh, you are uh, actually taking uh, latitude and longitude of your uh, starting point and latitude and longitude of your destination so once you pass this information so i'll just show you how to use this and then uh, create an access token for routing so this is your routing access token so this has been created so once we give this latitude and longitude of st uh, starting point and destination point along with token so it will generate a geo json so this is an example of geo json so you can uh, see use this geo json in any different kinds of applications i will just i'm just showing you one kind of uh, application here just a second so you just uh, this was, this is a basic simple geo json and you can paste it in any application or use it in a, any application as a url or as a, a text file and then uh, you will be you will be able to visualize this uh, starting point destination point along with the uh, uh, route parameters for that particular uh, starting point and destination so this is one example of how you can get uh, uh, your routing between uh, uh, starting and ending points so then this is our geoid uh, api in this api what we usually do is we Uh, convert uh, date uh, uh, from ellipsoid to geoid so whatever cartosat data that you will be downloading so i think this is uh, being shown in further sessions also so maybe uh, i'll not show it in that detail so what this api does is uh, so it converts your uh, 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 ellipsoid api ellipsoid dem into a geoid and similarly for uh, in the reverse case you can get a geoid or an ellipsoid uh, functionalities uh, so that is one example so here you need an id datum and uh, what kind of uh, output you need so these these kinds of outputs you will be able to download a zip file so if you uh, go through this portal and go through the uh, required parameters and stuff you can anyone can use use these applications so this is an application of our bone uh, api so coming to bowen maps api so this is an example of 
how we are uh, how a map will be available to user so it will be a single div uh, with uh, zoom in and zoom out option and then uh, bowen based map is available in this app application so we will see some examples of how actually it works so if you can see there are uh, different applications so suppose it, this is get states so you will get all the uh, state information as a geojson and those will be laid out in a uh, on the map so these are uh, this is an example of how to visualize state boundaries in the uh, bowen map similarly if you click get districts uh, you can get a districts across india or a for a particular state uh, as i'm showing now this is for uh, districts across for telangana state uh, and then you can also get uh, random polygons so these are all this also has a functionality of on click functionality where you can see the district name or state name or any other statistics that you need to add so you will have an on click functionality as well similarly you will have a get markers functionality where you can show uh, uh, different po different latitude uh, points at different latitude and longitude along with a pop up where you can uh, add your details of the points so these are some of the examples of how you can use our apis similarly we have recently developed a, a statistics api so uh, so what this does is we'll just uh, get the uh, the area information and then the area information and then uh, if you can see some any statistics you want to visualize on hover of a state you can use these apis so basically it will stay automatically ch change the state name and then uh, apply the corresponding units that are available similarly on click of this you will get uh, district details also so across across districts what are the statistics it will automatically update the district name or state name and correspondingly give the uh, statistics as well so this is one example and if you want to get only for a single state you can do that as well so this is for a single state and then uh, statistics for that particular state so these are some of the examples of uh, bowen apis in use uh, so for accessing our bowen apis regularly you can just drop a mail uh, at uh, bowen@nrsc.go.in so that is our mail address so if you want to use via as a one off you can you just you directly use it but if you want to use it in your application you need to mail us to with your uh, use case and uh, what you are using it for and how frequently you use it so once that details are there we will uh, work with you uh, closely to access uh, to give access to our apis uh, very uh, frequently so these are uh, some of the uh, applications we are uh, show, i mean apis which we are which are available with us so coming to bowen store uh, so this is the url for our bowen store so you can directly access it uh, so this will give you all the details of uh, all the products that are available in bowen so these are all updated very regularly and uh, as you can see uh, so we have cartodem resource set data all this raw data also we have processed data and then uh, terrestrial science products like avifs data snow albedo water bodies fraction and all these other uh, data sets ocm2 uh, data sets ndvi data sets all these are also available uh, science uh, be it ocean science or physical products uh, all these uh, are available as web service so in this bowen thematic service is also available so you can see this land use land cover uh, a project so for every from every year you have uh, how to access this uh, wms service or wmts service and uh, how to access so in further projects in further lectures you will see how it can be accessed in qgis or uh, or it be it in uh, other applications all these details are also being shown uh, uh, so for example uh, if you don't want to see uh, uh, get an application to use it you can go to our bowen uh, uh, 2d also so directly in 2d you can uh, bowen 2d there is a option called add layers so in this itself there is a option called wms layer so you can directly give your web, uh, web uh, wms url and uh, visualize visualize that uh, uh wms layer directly in this uh, uh, 2d itself so that will automatically add this layer so this is the example of a wms layer 
So we are adding, I think this is some uh, flood hazard layer and you can increase your uh, opacity or decrease the opacity as required and uh, swipe as well, uh, swipe functionality is also there. So this is one example of how to use our WMS services. Uh, we maybe in further lectures they will show how to get uh, WMS services for your needs. So this is uh, this is it from my side. All the APIs and demos. If any particular questions or uh, queries are there, I'll uh, I'll be most uh, thankful to help you. Yeah, thank you, Vijay Krishna. I think there are a few questions related to this APIs. Probably you can take them because we have another five minutes time. Uh, the first okay, question sir. is, uh, yeah, can we have API endpoints? If it is uh, paid, uh, it will work so that we can develop various use cases. Yeah, all the API endpoints are are uh, available in our uh, Bhuvan portal itself that whatever uh, API URL I have shown you, uh, uh, there itself you can access those endpoints and uh, start testing your applications. But actually, uh, to actually maintain your uh, application without any errors, we, we would like you to uh, send us a reach out uh, to us with a mail uh, saying that this is our use case and uh, this is how we want it. Then uh, we'll be make, we will make our other arrangements to actually uh, keep those in a live or uh, live environment. So that is one use case. So maybe I, uh, I will just give you an uh, email ID where you can mail us. So it is, email ID is bhuvan at the rate nrsc.go.in. So any mail, uh, uh, all the mails through this uh, email will be monitored. And if you just mail us your API requirements and endpoint requirements, we'll share you those specifically for the, for your use case. Yeah, one more question is like how Bowen APIs are different from OpenStreetMap APIs? Yeah, these are pretty much similar to uh, OpenStreetMap, but uh, uh, more most uh, all the data in uh, Bhuvan is being validated uh, thoroughly. Only validated information will be available through our APIs. So that uh, it's not an open source kind of thing. It's uh, ground va validated by someone. So that uh, that is one advantage we have over OSM. And OSM doesn't provide APIs related to uh, thematic products, especially these WMS layers and other the other products. Uh, OSM doesn't provide all this information. So those are also only available particularly in Bowen, especially uh, for data uh, in, in and across India. Okay. Then like uh, how we can use API token for longer duration, like uh, five to six days or yeah. beyond? Sure. Uh, so as I said, uh, whatever we have made public right now uh, is only for uh, testing purposes so once you have uh, once you have a concrete use case with our apis you just drop us a mail uh, and uh, provide us with your requirements so that uh, we can uh, extend the tokens or there is also uh, token refresh methods that are available so we can uh, work further on that so this is basically uh, whatever public apis which we are giving are only for mainly for test as a test bed purpose to actually uh, uh, make uh, i mean uh, the users can use that to actually verify those test cases and how useful it is for them to actually use this and then once uh, they they are uh, satisfied with our apis they can come to us uh, talk with discuss with us and how how long they want to use and how many requests it will become all these details if they can provide then we can uh, we are very happy to provide you with uh, live environment uh, apis as well Okay. Uh, one, uh, I think two, I mean, general questions are there related to Bowen. So can users yes. correct and add information to Bowen, like adding road name or uh, locality or adding yes. pictures? I'll just share my screen. I'll show you how to add uh, those as well. I mean, you can add. Uh, so for adding, you need to, you will need to log into our 2D. So in our uh, 2D, there is something called uh, add photos or POI. So in this, uh, you, uh, from this, you can uh, either click on a map or uh, to get 
the latitude and longitude you can see our satellite data and then uh, verify that uh, uh, location and then provide your i mean give your username and details and then you can select the category uh, and what are the subject and remarks and choose your uh, i mean image files and then submit once you submit uh, it will go through a validation process and then add it to our uh, add it to our database permanently so this is one way you can add uh, your desired locations and points right now i hope it is clear so all you need to go is you go you need to go to uh, bowen 2d which is available in our home page and then tools uh, and then add poi so this is our uh, how to add poi data in our bowen yeah but the question also is like whether we can edit whatever we have added yes once you have added here uh, it will be showing in uh, my content so there will be unverified content as well so whatever you have added you can edit those those uh, those those particular points one question is like how frequently the data whatever we are hosting is updated in the geo portal uh, whatever we are hosting sir so the thematic data no one question is like how often yeah. this data is updated because uh, we so thema so different resolutions so coming to thematic data i mean uh, they are basically updated at various time periods so coming to thematic data sets we have a mandate to actually uh, uh, update the 50k data every 5 years and 250k data every year so you will get an uh, 250k resolution data uh, every year so that is our mandate and then uh, 50k data will update it every 5 years so that is the mandate right now uh, but as on when it is it gets updated that will be available in bowen itself i think uh, those are the questions i have uh, for whatever the uh, topic we have discussed that is on the sure. api had some general questions there are other okay the questions also probably as i have uh, told you uh, because there are some questions related to the data download uh, with i think will be coming in sure, the next sure. session then yes. there is also yeah uh, then there is also yeah. related actually to the i just in... want to add one one more point here so uh, so i mean you you might uh, need so you might be going through our uh, bone portal and uh, seeing some other portals as well uh, for which apis might not be available right now but if you want to use that data and uh, the policy permits us to provide you to that data we are very happy uh, to share the share the apis for those as well so you can just write us a mail at bowen@nrc.go.in with the data you required so we will uh, will uh, look into the policy uh, details and provide you uh, the data you required so that is one more uh, just disclaimer from our side i think one question has uh, recently popped up uh, whether we are supplying lulc 50k uh, hello so actually that i think it, it will be covered in the next session so then i think it will be probably at that time we'll uh, take up that question sure uh, so thank you uh, vijay krishna uh, for your valuable yes, talk you. and also answering some of the queries uh, that were uh, posted in the chat so like uh, some other queries related to what is the time that you will be given for attempting the quiz the format i've already told you it's a multiple choice question i think questions will uh, range between 10 to 15 depending on uh, the content that is covered on a particular day and i think it is an open quiz uh, there is uh, usually no time limit as such uh, but it will be open only for the uh, duration of the day so you can attempt at any time uh, till you have uh, till tomorrow session starts and you can attempt it at any time uh, it will be enabled and once uh, the uh, day ends automatically that uh, link will also be disabled so you have the entire uh, i mean uh, day and night also with you uh, before the uh, next day to attempt the quiz and uh, they will like whether this presentations will be shared uh, yeah i mean that i'm exploring uh, whether we can host these presentations in uh, the e class platform for you to uh, download but these presentations will be converted into pdf and probably i am uh, exploring whether it can be shared with you on the lms platform now otherwise i think uh, this particular uh, webinar sessions are uh, 
recorded in the YouTube uh, channel, so you can you can have uh, uh, I mean any time access to this uh, content uh, whenever you want to to uh, uh, I mean have a look at them. So this is uh, available uh, as a recording from our YouTube channel. So probably you can have access uh, to this one also. So we'll um, move on to the next uh, uh, discussion. Like whatever the uh, sessions that we are discussing, uh, this is entirely related to the Bowen Geo portal. But the Bowen Geo portal is uh, a tool and a platform where you have to actually spend some time. That means you need to do uh, uh, open the uh, Geo portal, explore the contents, know what it contains to know it better. So we have arranged some uh, tutorials also for that one. So we'll start uh, our next session, but basically. Uh, uh, link to that uh, tutorials only. So now we will start the Bhuvan thematic services and uh, Suvida. So this will be covered by Mr. Naresh. So I hope he is there uh, with us in the meeting. Yeah, Mr. Naresh. Yeah, yes, Naresh. I'm here. Hello, Naresh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So welcome, Naresh, and uh, you can. Uh, I think you can start your. Uh, I mean, talk. Is my presentation is visible, Arish? Yeah, it is visible. You can put it in that uh, in presentation mode. Can I go ahead, Arish? Yeah, please, you can start. Are you audible, Arish? Yeah, you're audible, but I think you have changed to the second slide. You can just uh, flash to the next uh, first slide so that uh, the users can note your uh, contact detail. Hello? Hello? Are you audible? Yeah, you're audible, but I'm telling you to just uh, play the first slide so that people can note down the your uh, email or... Arish, are you there? Hello. 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 Harish, you are able to hear me? Harish. Naresh, you are able to hear me? Naresh, we are not able to hear you. Hello? Naresh, we are not able to hear you. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, Arish, may I add one? Yeah, please go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Uh, good afternoon. Myself, Naresh, working in Bowen Content Generation Team. So I'm going to deliver the lecture on Bowen Thematic Services and Suvida. So let us start with the Bowen Thematic Services. So if you see like previous lectures, uh, like we had here uh, regarding the general Bowen and the API part and how to do the development. And now we are going to discuss regarding the thematic services. Actually, this is the one more unique thing uh, which we have compared to all other geo portal. So there are the two ways you can come to our portal. Like one, uh, directly go to the Google browser 
and you type bowen.nrc.gov.in. That is a one mechanism where you can do uh, to get into our home page. Then if you see the upper part, we have the visualization free download and uh, second application sector and third part apps and OGC services. So you can directly click on this thematic services portal. So you'll get into that particular uh, interface of thematic services. Or if you remember the URL, go on iPhone, app one dot nrsc go dot in slash thematic, you'll get into this uh, interface, right? So uh, now if you come back to this thematic services, we have the various thematic uh, information of natural resources like land use land cover 50K of various cycles, 2005 and six and 2011 and 12, 2015 and 16. So these are the like 50K every five years, uh, this get going to update. Now we are in the 2022. So soon it is going to update the 2020-21 also. So the policy here is that actually these thematic or natural resources linked with the like uh, entire India, NR census is there as per that policy. One is to 50K every five years it is going to get updated and one is to 250K every year going to update it. So this is linked with the NR census uh, like of uh, policy. So as per that, it is go going to get updated in the information. So let us start. So let us, uh, we can select any of the thing. Let us uh, select land use land cover 50K. Now you have the option to select uh, state wise you can see. So randomly you are going, I'm just selecting Gujarat. Now you click on this view option, right? So you can see right hand side, you, you got a like map. Like if you see these uh, colors, but if you see technically this we see as the legend, like each color as having the meaning. Now, if you look at the left hand panel, the legend information is given. So whatever the color assigned for each of the theme or each of the feature here, it is there. The left hand side, you have the information built up urban, built up rural, built up mining like that. So different classes by information is available so that you can check it. And now if you click on the statistics tab, right, you have the information like each, for example, I have selected the state. So what is the total geographic area that is mentioned here? And in this total geogra geographic area, state wise, how much built up urban is there? So for example, 2751 square kilometers, it is there built up urban and built up mining is 277.51. So like that each of the theme, each of the class, so how it is spread out. So the state wise information available. Now, for example, you want to see district wise. Yes, you can click on the district statistics. Now, once you click on district, you will have the option to go to particular district. So now we can go to any of the thing. So I just selected the uh, Padana. So if you look at here, now again, the information showing is district wise. So earlier we have seen state wise statistics. Now we are seeing, so built up urban. So now what basically it is giving? So entire India, state wise stats information is there. You can select the cycle. You can select the state. Now you can see the state, how much area is there, this entire area, how the spread out is there, how the different classes is there, how the utilization is there, that entire information at one glance you can get it. And even if you want to go district level, that information available. Now, apart from this, you want to do some analysis, right? So you click on this analysis. Now, dry OA tool is there. So earlier starts is there. State and district, pre-computed is there. But you want to do village level or like your area of interest. You want to see what is the spread out. Like whatever your area of interest is there, where that built up mining is there or like what are the different classes is there, how much area it is occupied or you want to do some planning. For that, what you can do, just click on dry OA, which are the place interested. We can can just draw right and you click on this analyze button so what basically does whatever the area of interest are drawn the polygon within that polygon it will give you okay this this is my area of interest in this cropland is 1.16 uh, square kilometers rural is 0 0.02 it is there water body is there 0 0.05 so this way whichever the place in our country entire uh, India so you can go there your place of interest you can select the state district and you can just Draw AOA and you analyze on the fly, it will give the computation it will give you. So that way you can get it the all the statistics analyze also it can happen. Now if you click on this metadata, the Naresh, minimum information uh, is there. I think your, what is Naresh, the data set, what is the, the extent, what is the extent, methodology used, those information it is there. 
and whom to contact like further information is there those details also can be get it quickly and the second uh, like a uh, good part of this uh, portal or this services is that we are also sh sharing this information as a ogc web service that means right uh, so not only you can see this whatever you are seeing the map or the layer in our portal that you want to see in your desktop gis or you want to develop your own web application yes it is possible to consume as a ogc web services as a wms and wms to put you simple terms like this is one protocol whenever you want to access the geo special data right in public domain or internet so this is the protocol we need not worry about how does this protocol works because in if you see the previous sessions like there the if you see web api right open layers so those people will take care of like how to do it only what we required the information is that from which server you have to pick up so that address is there in this url and what is the layer name so if you, these two are the parameters which are much more important to call and you can use that particular library Uh, just one yeah, second, Naresh, I was able to hear my screen once again. Naresh, hello. Hello. So, Naresh, uh, you are able to hear me? Uh, just one second, I will just uh, check the screen. Uh, yeah, Naresh, you are able to hear now? Hello? Can I put this screen? Naresh, you are able to hear me? No, you can Hello? Hello. Hello. May I add to Oh, is you're it audible? Uh, yeah. You're Arish, audible, uh, but could you uh, able to? Naresh, your uh, voice is uh, heard, but uh, are you able to hear us? Right now, yes, Arish, I could able to hear you. Yeah. There was some. Uh, Are you able to see? Yeah, you are now. I think now your screen share is uh, correct, and now you can please go right. ahead. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so just quickly uh, give like glimpse of the thing whatever I just told uh, previously. So like if you want to see the thematic services, you can uh, type in Google Bhuvan. Once it will get you to this uh, basic uh, interface. So, or you can type bone.nrc.go.in. So, once you type, you will get into this interface. The first section is having the visualization free download, second section, application sector, and third, maps and OGC services. So, once you click on this thematic services portal, you will get into land into this particular uh, web application where you can see the different themes. So now if you see, we have the different uh, natural resources information starting with land use, land cover, wasteland, geomorphology, lineament, water bodies, urban sprawl. So different themes information is available. Now if you just see the land use, land cover, various uh, scales information available and various years, various period, uh, time periods information also available. And 1 is to 50k, we have the three cycles data, one is 2005 and 6, 2011 and 12 and 15 and 16. So this is as per the NR census policy, every five years, this is going to get updated. So soon we are going to get the update of 2021-22 also. And uh, coming to 250K, every year it is going to update. So that is the information you can see if you select this. So year-wise information, it is available. So now go to go back to the LLC 50K. So I'll just select one state. So uh, I'm just selecting randomly Gujarat. So I'm clicking on view information. If you see right hand side, one map it has come with the different colors right so each color the information is there the left hand panel uh, we say this is the legend right so whatever the red color it is there built up urban 
red greenish and different shades of greens are there different colors of red and pink those information it is uh, very much available in the left side and now we want to see the statistics information yes you can see so total geographic area of gujarat and this how this different classes spread out in entire gujarat that information area wise it is available built up urban built up mining forest scrub forest so those information uh, it is available in the left hand panel and you want to see the same information district wise you can click on this radio button where the districts of gujarat is uh, selected for example i am selecting jamnagar so selected now so now jamnagar area it has come and within the district what are what are the different classes available area wise information is there so you can just visualize that particular thing and you can increase the zoom level and if you want to go to the, that particular district yes you can just click on here and come back to jamnagar right so it will directly your screen will take you to that particular thing so you can do uh, information district wise state wise still you are interested to with the village level or your place of interest what you can do just whichever the place you interested you click on this draw aoi so i went to this analysis tab i have clicked on this draw aoi button so which are my place of interest i am just drawing this polygon now after drawing the polygon you click on this analyze button so what basically it does whatever the polygon i have drawn within that polygon what are the classes fall uh, fallen those classes information is available so here you can see crop um, crapland is uh, 0.63 square kilometers scrubland is 0.88 and water bodies information 0.02 so like this whichever the place you are interested you can see district and state pre computed stats are there and on the fly you can just draw a area of interest and you can get the statistics information and the same information you want to consume as a api in previous session uh, we uh, like krishna uh, sai ram krishna and vijayaram krishna both they demonstrated this can be also consumed as a api so you can go to that particular thing and you can consume or you want to see in our portal the information available each and team you have to select you have to go to the respect to tab and you will get the information now apart from that whatever you are visualizing the our port our portal right that also be consumed as a ogc web map service and web map tile service that means you need not worry about like where the data resides but if you know the address like uh, uh, server address or the layer name if you give those two information you can easily consume in the desktop gs and as well as the web gs in web gs there are the various open source and commercial clients available so there there are the two parameters important if you see web map service that is url we say but you tell it to tell you in more simple terms you have to give the server address you can say and the layer name if you give these two parameters that remaining default parameters you will take and you will consume this particular information which is, which is available in our portal you can see in our local system also and you can host this in your portal also so each and every theme that particular information available apart from this we have the technical document is there so you can just go through the technical document what are the satellite data sets used what are the policy or algorithms used whom to contact that entire information technical document this, those details are there accuracy levels scale levels like why like this many classes are there so this entire information you can just go to the technical document and the second thing that apart from this you want to have the you want to take the print out so that map part is there where you can take this uh, a0 print print out we can say so we can take this print out of that that is also readily available and statistics also you want you can just click on this statistics you can get the statistic information so what basically this portal is giving you can visualize the thematic data in our portal you can take a print out you can take the technical document you can take the statistics and as well as you can consume your a desktop gs or web gs so all those things it is possible using this thematic services portal you can get the information now this is one such example where i have shown the demonstrated now let us go to other example so i am just selecting the wasteland right so this is one more theme i have selected here also like we have the two different cycles information available one is 2008 and 9 and one more is 2015 and 16 right so here also we can compare like what was there the situation of wasteland in 2008 and 
what was the situation 1516 so this kind of simple analysis also on the fly it can happen using this particular portal so i am selecting wasteland now this time i am just selecting randomly to one state bihar i am clicking on view information so here also you can see right hand side on map it loaded with the different uh, colors right so as i told each color has in the some meaning if you see that uh, left hand panel this is the legend right scrubland water logged area salt affected area this many classes are there why this many classes what kind of the data sets it is used those information you can get into this technical document and you want to take a print out as i told for each and everything this technical document associated map is associated and this atlas or statistics information available apart from that quickly if you want to have the metadata information as for nsdo 2.0 standard those details also we have kept so that user can easily get data and services without asking or taking the permission from so many people so that uh, bhuvan thematic services bhuvan made the process very simple and uh, now go to the statistics information now if you see uh, like we have selected bihar state right so total wasteland area is uh, like if you see 7685.39 square kilometers is there right so in that how much uh, sandy area is there how much scrubland is there now if you look at now if you see this scrubland 2050 i mean uh, 2050 uh, square kilometer is there so entire 7685 what is the spread out with the different uh, classes of wasteland so that you can see here and you want to see particular district yes uh, 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 you can select the any of the district <coughs> i selected gaya so now you can see the district also information available uh, scrubland here if you see 93.89 square kilometer is there so district level uh, information is there and again you want to do some analysis as i told you can draw your area of interested whichever the place interested and now you click on this analyze button on the fly it will calculate it will give you so this entire if you see any of the nr census land use or waste land or geomorphology any of the people want to do planning before doing the planning to get this all the information at one glance it is very much useful so whichever the place they are planning they can consume these all layers they can see what are the different themes different properties of land you can see based upon the land properties the decisions can be made so that it can be used for the betterment so again apart from that we have the query shell where now you are uh, whatever that defined all the classes there but you want to see only scrubland yes you can go water logged area as it is possible now you want to see the area wise you can click on area now i want to see uh, i don't want like any classes just i want to see wasteland where the 60 hectares are available okay so i can just click on this add to query expression Uh, i can click on this query option so it will what it will do it will generate the query it will give that output so basically what we try to made is that what are the information available that we have given and also what are the best possible things you can put it so that also can be done using this information so all those things you can get it and also as i told each and every web, like for example this wasteland you want to consume in uh, as a web service you can go to web services tab and here also we have given that web map tile service url and also web map service details so you can get it this particular information also so i'll just show you one more thing uh, to just uh, give you like one more glimpse of the thing so let us take to the land use land for 250k right so the uh, the mechanism very simple for each and every theme you have to first select the theme based upon the second drop down listed you have to go so i'm just selecting 2018 19 right so i'm selecting annual layer because rabi karif also there you click on this view option so right hand side you will see the information of uh, like lulc 250k that information will be loaded right and here also you will get the statistics web services overlay those information also be visible to you and uh, now which are here like previous 50k you have to select the cycle and you have to select the state information uh, here when you go to the 250k the entire country level information is available again we have given the option user to select uh, information based upon the state wise now user can see so now if you see llc 250k entire country level information is there and uh, the corresponding legend is there left hand side go to the statistics tab uh, statistics tab here our entire uh, country area it is mentioned 
now if you see built up urban 99.04 area land it is there so what is the tariff uh, area that is also mentioned so i have selected 2018 and 19 let us see uh, like uh, built up uh, is there 2018 19 it is there in the 1999 uh, uh, 0.04 so now we'll go to the just i'll change the year let us see 16 17 how it look like so i will select an annual right you click on this view option go to the statistics tab now if you see uh, built up is 87.84 so you can see like it is increased or decreased what was the parameters that you can just quickly find out now if you want to see the state wise information yes you can go to the state wise so and just uh, i'll tell it uh, and now i'm taking to jarkhand so jarkhand state wise information also available uh, built up urban is 3.72 uh, Rabi crop is 0 0.25 so that entire information all about and this also you can get is a web services and in previous session like there was one question can we get it uh, LULC like uh, data the answer is that LULC 250k data you can consume OGC web services and as well as also you can get as a get data now if you see when I was selected LULC 250k one more tab came right hand side get data right so if you want uh, the 250k data what you have to do just you have to go to the get data tab the different options are available which year you want to select it if you want to select the multiple years you can select so i'm for example i want 2014 15 i've selected now you have to select the option uh, you want to do for the planning or research studies what is your like which purpose you want to take it that option you have to put it i've selected now we have provided three uh, main options one is you can download administrative unit wise state or district or you can give your bonding box number or whichever the place interested just to draw aoe right so right now what i will do i'll just go to the uh, district okay you can select any of the district i just selected another district and you click on the submit request once you submit request one uh, number is generated one nine one eight six and one more like uh, one um, important thing is that because you are putting this request right so it is required username already this is login is there so that is that's why it is not as the your credentials so whenever you want to do this information it is required to give the username and password based upon the username and password details only this request is processed and the information also shared using the ftp those details will you share to you through your register mail id we will share those details so it is required username and password so what i will do just i'll quickly log out this and let us uh, check that whether it will ask details or not so i'll go to search option so i'm randomly i'm taking now i will take the land use uh, land cover to 50k now when I'm clicking on get data it is asking you need to log in to submit the request so you click on this ok option you click on this login right so you have to have I request all of you uh, like if you are not having any like you don't have the mail id uh, you don't have the username of Bhuvan. so please register with us so that whenever like uh, any updates are happening that also can be we are sending a monthly and a fortnight updates we are sending so that you can keep in touch with uh, Bhuvan. so you please register with us so that you can get the updates and whenever you want to download the data or whenever you want to add the information uh, that is required the username so now login now when i click on get data now it is not asking any username and password now this time i'll go to 2018 and 9 8 and 9 this time i'll go to regional planning so i'll go draw away click on uh, whichever the place i'm interested I can go to that. So anyway, I will select uh, that is not a problem. So I will go to get data. Eight regional planning. Drive away start. So just I'll draw. This is the my place of interest. It. So I'll click on submit request. Stop. Right. Submit request. So it is generated. Now it is one more number is generated. One nine one eight seven. This is the request ID with this uh, corresponding area of interest. Now. Uh, one thing is that you have to download this MOU. You need to fill up. You need to fill the, these details. You should uh, send to bone at the rate of nrc.gov.in. Once we'll get this information, the after that we'll send you the 
FTP details so that you can download this particular data set. So in this LLC 250K, it can be consumed at the OGC web service as well as the get data also. Data also can get it. And all other themes as of now, the present condition policies is that only web services only it is available. Still, you require the data for other themes. I request you to write mail bone at the rate of nrc.gov.in based upon the requirement and policy with the, uh, the owner of the data set. We will get back to those information or we will develop a tool so that like data, even though it is residing with our servers, we will enable you through API. So I request all of you see to register this thing and uh, first I request you to consume as a OGC web services and you can start using this particular thing and particular any other additional tools or the data is required please mail us so that we'll get back to you regarding that so similarly we have the other themes are there so i'll select last geomorphology so the information is simple now when i see 250k data the tab get data is there but when i'm going to other themes automatically that will not come so based upon the information this uh, tabs it is varying right so i'm selecting geomorphology this time I'm selecting Ariana, right? You can select the or any districts. So otherwise you can go to directly this. Now if you see uh, the right hand panel, Geomarpal the information has came. It is 1 is to 50,000. Now if you see it is the display is restricted to level 2. It is having 42 landforms. Those information, it will be, sorry, it will be visible on the left hand panel and right hand also. Now you want any of the query information identity, you click on this it will give you the information feature id what is their uh, structure of that thing those information also using this ident uh, like identify button you can get it so apart from that now you want to take a print of this yes you can click on this print map so whatever the your uh, area of extent is there that you can take a print out of this once you click it the print pdf will be generated with the scale theme those information of uh, map related the minimum information can be get it and you can download as a print now you want to use that entire thing like you want to take a printout the ready to print out option also there where you can directly download the uh, uh, map and you can take a print out so one is visible whatever the, your screen is there that you can take a print out or go to technical document or print where it available you take a download that particular thing and use for your uh, particular uh, applications so this way you can put it and also apart from that we also provided add wms layer so that means here you are seeing the thematic information but for example you have your own information you want to fetch it and you want to overlay in this particular thing you want to see it so that also possible or you can give the address of that particular server or layer name it will put it so it will give you more things you are visualizing the data which is there in one server and you can also pull the information from the internet and you can overlay so that it will give you more chances of understanding the area which you are looking all the data sets together can be seen and you can take the decision very easily so this is the thing uh, regarding the thematic services and one more thing for example like we have the like uh, next session also there and tomorrow also the answer session is there will you show you how to consume these data sets in QGIS or RGS or like any of the Gaia kind of desktop just how to consume. So right now I'll sh show you one link. I request all of you to this online portal. Maybe today you can practice or if you have any queries, you can uh, ask us. So uh, what is that? For example, whatever the, is there in thematics that you want to get it in, uh, in QGS. So the link is that we are giving the one tutorial. You click on this bone.nrs or homepage. Come to discussion forum. Your bone usability is there. You click on this. Here, the second information, use Bhuvan thematic layers as a WMS, WMTS, and RGS, and QGS, and Gaia. You click on this particular thing. Then, uh, like, for example, you want to have it in the RGS, you click on this PDF. Once this PDF is there, how to open, uh, like, where to click on this uh, option, first, second, third. If you just follow this PDF, and uh, th this is the address, right? This address from where you are getting, you have to go to our portal, right? So each and team, which are like, for example, the Geomarpal, you want to get it, you click on this web services tab, you take this URL and you put it in this uh, PDF. Here you have to put it. Now you just click on get layers. Once you do this, you do, you complete this all the steps, at the end of the thing, like whichever the theme you have selected, it will list out. So for each QGS, Gaia, RGS, the step-by-step -step tutorial is there. You can go to 
uh, this PDF, you can go to thematic services. Uh, that is one place you can get all the web service address. And the second place we are also given in the bone store where you can like if you instead of going to thematic services, you want to get it directly quickly. Yes, you can go to here. Here also thema uh, thematic services information is available. Go to here, bone thematic services. Here also we have listed. So from here also you can pick up the address. Uh, like uh, of the WMS or WMTs, you can use it in the your applications. This is regarding the thematic services. So I'll just go to the next uh, uh, part of the lecture, Suvida. So just let me close this all the information. So next part of the lecture is Suvida. So, so that is like uh, uh, as I told, you can remember uh, URL of that particular application or you can just remember always our home page URL. So if you want to type uh, Bhuvan Suvida, you can type Bhuvan iPhone Suvida one dot nrsc.gov.in and just typing that uh, information Bhuvan Suvida one dot nrsc.gov.in. So this is the one way you can get into our uh, Bhuvan Suvida portal information or you can just always remember this particular URL, go to uh, special applications, click on this and here the special applications are listed already here. You can click on the Suvida application. You click on this Suvida, you'll get into this interface. Okay, before starting this uh, Suvida portal demonstration, just I want to tell you the, the purpose, why we have created the Suvida application is that. Basically, this Suvida portal is online geospatial content management system. The first purpose we have started this is that, Bowen is having a lot of data sets, in terms of a satellite and in terms of the thematic or derived information, a lot of data sets is there. So those data sets, one way is that you can consume in our WebGIS or the desktop GIS, you can consume wherever the policy allowing. Second thing, you can upload your own data sets on top of this portal and you can see as a overlay layer, wherever changes is required, you can edit it. That's the first part. The second part is that for example, we have the lot of data sets is there, right? You want to develop this kind of the application, you require coding skills. Like one mechanism is that in previous two, uh, two lectures, they shown you, you need to have the programming skills or APIs things so that you can develop your own portal there you can consume. But this portal, there is no technical capabilities required. There is no coding skills is required. You have the data set is there, right? Uh, right now, if you see, there are the many of the open data sets has come up, right? You see data.go.in and even our bone itself also, we are giving a lot of the data sets free. And if you see other portal, USGS, NASA, those also give data sets. All those things without having any server, without having any software, you want to put it in online portal. This give you that kind of the, that kind of the capability. Let us start this, get into inside. Now, uh, as I told, this is uh, Bhuvan Suvida one dot NRC go dot in our portal URL. Now what I will do, I'll just to create one shape file online that I will upload so that you can see. And uh, as I told, Bhuvan is whenever you are adding information to the Bhuvan or whenever you're taking the information like, like download or doing, right? That time only username and password is required. Otherwise, we kept very simple. There is no username and password is required. and Bhuvan username password also single sign on application that means you can create one account and you can use for the all of our bone applications and even you need not to log in again also just i'm clicking sign in or sign in this application right because now i want to upload my data right so what i will do i will just uh, log in with my details so i just i'm just given my password details Right. So this is the like now with the my username it has come up right now here I can upload the data sets of whichever I like I can upload to this particular portal. Now there is no requirement to WMS there is no requirement to API or you need not worry where the data will be stored which server can be accessed no need to worry once you upload to this portal it can be it is online portal wherever is there you just to log into your account that will be visible. So what I will do, I will create online, right? You can just, you have the own data sets. You can try uh, along with me. 
uh, you can go to this portal you can put it so what i'm going i'm just going to bone 2d portal right so i'm just going to satellite view right so so i can go to any of the place interested right and just randomly going okay so just i want to destroy this particular portion right so what i will do i'll go to tools i'm just taking draw tool okay so <coughs> sorry I want to distress this particular portion. So right click. So now I'm just clicking. To demonstrate, I'm just uh, creating the shape file online. But if your own data set, yes, it, it can be published using our Suida portal. No need to create, right? So what I will do, this is downloaded. So I'll just take here, show in folder. For easy of the purpose, I'm just uh, taking from here. I'll put it in the desktop with the data I'm just kept, right? I click here, I'll push here, right? So now what I will do, I will take this location. I'll go to- Anish, I think uh, uh, your screen is not visible. Okay. I will just uh, screen again. Uh, once again. I will stop and I will. Uh, no, it is fine. Now it is fine. Now it is fine. Please. Okay. Is it visible, Arish? Yes. Yeah. So, so what I will do? I'll just click on this. Right. So, because I already log in, that's why this time I didn't ask. Now you can have the option add layer add maps. I'm clicking on this add layer option. Right. Once here I click, I have the option to upload. See, uh, this basically you can upload the GS data and also non geospatial data. Let us focus first in the geospatial data. So, geospatial data right now, this portal is allowing two one is the raster data, second is the vector data. Raster data it can be allowed with the geotiff, vector data shape file only allowed. So, right now, Whatever the I have created is in the bone 2 d it is a shape file, it is a vector format data of geospatial. So I'm uploading this data set. You click on this upload option. Sorry, you have to select this choose file option is there. You have to select okay, go to the desktop, or you can give the directly location of the thing wherever it is there. Now you can select the zip file, or you can also give the individual files also. So you click on this open. Now I'm clicking this upload option. So now you click on this layer info right see whatever i distress that particular thing within like see here i don't have any software i don't have any that uh, coding skills i have used i just uploaded or uh, created the data using the bone 2d i just put it in this particular portal okay now it has come what is the next go to the create map right so here now you want to see where exactly is that came same place it's the same place it is there. You click on this information. Yes, it has come. Now you want to see the same information, right? With the different satellite uh, dates, you can click on this. You can see like 2012, 16, how, what was there, that information was available. Apart from that, one more good advantage of this portal is that after uploading your data, you can edit it and you can create a new feature. So what I will do, first I'll go to, okay, this is screen. Now I want to see, I want to create one new feature. So what I will do? I click on this edit option, whichever the place interested. Okay, this area also now interested because earlier one is already available. Now I've seen some new changes has come up. Now I click on this particular thing. You click on save option, right? So any attributes there, it will come. Now if you see the second part also, it is there. Now, okay. But after uploading, you observe that this is something wrong. It has come up, right? So what I will do, I'll click on this. You click on this modify option. Click on this thing and now Go to here, click on this, modify. Okay, now if you want to edit this particular thing. Okay, that option has come. You click on this uh, edit, right? The If you see that uh, notes has come up, right? I want to just see this. Okay, I'll click on this. I'll click on save option, right? Now see whatever the edited on the flight is happening. 
Okay, so what basically I have done? I uploaded my data set. The bone is having rich information. On the top of that, I observed. I will create a new feature. I will create the one existing. Okay, this is done. Now, can I download this particular data set? Yes, it is possible. Go to layers because this is the uploaded your data set, right? Go to here, click on this thing. Okay, download layer is there. You click here. Now you uploaded the shape file, but you want to download the PDF or GML or CSV, Excel, KML tiles, all the data sets possible. So you can take back this data set. Apart from that, one more advantage of this particular thing, right? So just again, I'll go back to this. So what I will do, I'll again, I'll click a create map option, right? So here, what I will do this time. So I'll just click on this. So I'll go to this style option, right? I will click on here. I click on this edit option, right? So now I want to change the color. So I'll click on this green. Okay. Now I'll click on this option of save automatically the color also changed. If you see these are the two polygons we have created. Now the color also changed, right? So this way, or I want to change the opacity, right? I'll go to here. Okay, what I will do. Save. You okay, click here. Edit here. Basic. I want to change the opacity. Yes, you can change the opacity of these things. Now, if you see, I can see background also. So this I am doing using the graphical interface. Right. It is not required any of the or like uh, writing XML kind of thing or SLD doesn't require. I can just put it this. Or I want to change the stroke. Right. So instead of width, I want to the two. So I put the width. I want to give the color as the pink because it's not matching. If you feel like you can give the, those options. Now, if you look at, oh, I don't want the solid line. I want the dashed one. Okay. That particular thing also you can do it. Now, if you see the pattern also change it. Now, click on this save. So, what is happening? Your operating automatically right hand map view, it is changing. This way you can put it. Okay. Now, you upload your data set. You have visualized on top of this. Your colored, I mean, like your style information is given and you edited also. Again, uh, these only basic rules I have shown, but you want to have the advanced rules, labels also it can be given. Okay. And you want to see, okay, two features, it should not be there. One is to 50,000. I want to only see in this particular big polygon. In one is to 10,000, it can be there. Those kind of the rules, you can put it limit by scale, limit by condition. Based upon the requirement, advanced facility tools already inbuilt, it is there. You can utilize, you can put it. This is the second thing. But apart from that, now it is fine. Okay. Now, second thing, I want to share this information with my friend. Right. One thing what I can do, I can upload my data with the mail. I can just give the data, I can push a mail. But again, that friend want to see what is required. He required some QJ software or RJ software and some system where you can upload the data set. But instead of that, you uploaded the data set. You want to share this information with your friend. You want to validate that information, right? So what is required? He need not download. So he same this application can be utilized. How to do it? Because you can go to this particular data set, right? Again, you go to this data set here. Uh, change layer permission is there, right? So default, you are the owner of the data set. For you, all the options are available. That means you can view, you can download, you can metadata also can be changed. You can edit style, whatever you want to do, you can put it. But you want to give these credentials or you want to make only for viewing to your friend. So I'm just giving one details to show you. Okay, I'm just giving uh, Anus one, right? This is my friend, I want to share the information, right? For only viewing, but I will not give him option to edit. So what is happening? He just only visualized. But one more friend is there, right? For him, I want to give option of viewing, right? And also edit also. You can go to here edit. I can give here edit option. Okay. So I will give one more option also I give. It. So this uh, user, I am not giving the options of, uh, what is that? I am giving the option of edit, but the first user again only visualization like that. And second, one more user is there where I want to give both the options or download also can be given. So that also be given here. So what I'm giving for Anus, I'm also giving the download option. That means I am allowing him to download also. So based upon a requirement, granularity of the functionality also can be shared. 
So this way, without having anybody permission, without having any of the software on the fly, collaboration of the work can also can be happened. Now what I will do, just will click on this apply changes, right? Now this is in my account, right? So I uploaded today, 12th July 2022, right? So I'm just logging out from my account. Okay, now I'll go to here, sign in. I'll just log in with uh, my uh, like a friend account. So I just given here. So let us see whether that friend could able to see whichever the layer updated, right? So I'm just giving the details uh, of the caption. Yeah. Okay, so now I log in with my friend account, right? Now if you see, he is also having some layers. I'll click on this. Now if you see, this is the data set uploaded. Who is the owner? Because the earlier user is mine, that is test of artifact, this shown. Now I'll go to this layer, right? Now if you see, yes, it has come up, right? So your download layer is there because I already given the permission, he will having the information download layer right otherwise you will not get that information now you can only visualize but you want to do the editing that facility is not available I, even though we will go to create map option okay now if you see the default earlier it is enabled now it is disabled why because i have not given a permission to edit it if i want to give what i have to give or i can put a request this user will put a request to me so that i will edit or he will visualize he will do the changes so this way collaboration of the work can be happened using this particular portal. Let us go back to that portal, uh, the, like uh, let, let us go back to my account. Let us give edit and we'll see whether this user is able to edit or not. Okay, sign in, I will put it. Okay, I will give them my details again. Just show, demonstrate the capability of this particular application. So basically this portal making you to avoid or like uh, you should not worry about where the data is there how to put it is that because as a subject expert many people have the data but how to showcase or how to put it they need not worry just come to this portal upload the data set you can share with your friends you can come to work and it is available in your account only so i'll go to this layers i'll go to this layer okay i'll uh, go to my chain layer uh, 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 permission okay now what i will do is is a user download i will remove him okay i'm just removing okay viewing is there but editing i want to give him okay already i have shared with the naresh also i want to share with the anus so you should able to edit it right so now i'm clicking this apply changes right i'll just log out okay again i will put it here so i will just give him oh sorry i have to give the details of my friend so I'm just sharing the details. So just I give you on the capture details. Okay, now we'll go to that layer. We'll see now when I put download layer. Okay, it has come up. We'll just see. I'll go to that edit option whether you could able to edit or not. Yes, now you see it is enabled, right? Now I can draw a thing. I can put because earlier it was disabled. Now I'm putting, I'll click on this, it will be visible. Now you see that facility is given. So this way you can just upload the data set. You can work with any of the user. That user also should have account in the Bhuvan. That is only thing it is required to share this data set to your friend. So this way you can do all of your work without having any software. Apart from this, like other tools are there, right? So finding the distance, it is possible. Finding the identity information, taking a print, all this available. And one more good thing about the portal is that, for example, you have a lot of uh, features are there. You want to filter it. The query option also there. So what I will do, just will upload one more data set, which I already brought. So I click on add layer option and here, Right now, earlier only upload one shape file, right? So what you can do, you have the 10 shape files. Yes, you can bundle it, you can upload, or you just drag and drop. That also option is available. So all like ready to use facilities is there. I request to explore and let us know, or like is still any further improvement is required the, using that. So go back to here. 
where the data is there let us see here like i just want to upload the data set of uh, points okay so this time what i will take i will take this path okay go back here so choose file option is there right now i'll i'm going to this folder right i'm just taking and this time one more thing also i can do while uploading like shape file means it should require four files right prg dbf shp shx along with you have created SLD or style somewhere else. You want to give that information? Yes, it is possible. One way you can upload, you can create using the graphical interface. Or the second way is that you already created the SLD somewhere else. You want to give that style information. It is also possible. Only thing the naming convention should be same name of the file name, right? So right now I will take with SLD also so that you can see the how it whether it takes or not. Now the five files uploading. You click on this thing. Okay, anyway. Okay, now, yeah. So this is the thing, right? Uh, now the, it, is, uh, it is saying that you are already uploaded, your limit is completed, right? So the here, request, here one more requirement is that uh, right now we are allowing user only 25 MB. So the restriction is that because already this user is crossed this thing, it is asking you are not allowed to upload. So as of now, the limitation of this uh, thing is that we have allowed each user 25 MB, but you want to have it like more information or more storage is required. Please write a mail to us, boon at the rate of nrc.gov.in. Based upon the requirement, we can increase the limit. So as of now, you can go to this portal. You can explore the facility with the 25 MB. So you want to use for your purpose, drop a mail to us. We'll increase the limit of the data. So that way you can put it. So instead of uh, uploading the data set, I will just show the query facility using the which one already is there. Go to this create map. Go to create map, right? Then uh, here the query is there. Now if you see the different uh, points are there here. Okay, different symbols also it has come up. Okay, this. Is there the different uh, already data is there hospital is there triangle shape uh, sorry circle fast food is there like the and stars are there right so now what is there that if you want to see you click on the star option okay uh, that you can get it that information name airway amenity pharmacy is there so that way it is there now i want to only see the hospitals in this particular screen i don't want to see any of the thing what i will do i'll go to query right now here also same query option is there now i can go to any right i'll select the amenity okay now i want to give the equal because i want to see those option so i'm putting hospital click on this query option okay now you see only hospital it has come now if i want to see this particular hospital what i can do i can click on this i click on this option it will upload so this is the hospital selected so this way if you are having the large number of data sets also, the query shell also it is readily available. The basic SQL queries, I have just selected only uh, text information, but you can have the uh, like range values queries also and multiple queries, complex queries also can be built using this particular uh, query shells. This way you can have it, the information of your data sets, you can put it. Apart from that, one more good advantage of this portal is that, right, have the many of the layers, right? Uh, I'll just go to this layer. Always, whenever I want to open the portal, I want to what I require this layer. I'm clicking this, this option. Okay, this add cart option. See, whenever whenever we want to e cart or shopping uh, uh, sites, the, the option is there. We'll select our uh, interested items. Then we'll go to the cart option. And right here, I'm selecting. Okay, I want this option. I want the second option of this thing also. Okay, demo point. These three I want always. Right, I've selected. Okay, once you've selected, here create map option is there. So the three layers, whichever I selected, right? This all the three things it has come up along with the satellite imagery. One is this particular thing, right? So the other one is the wherever the polygon I have drawn, that particular thing also it has might have come up. So this way you can just put it. One more thing, once it is there, always you want to see this particular information. What you can do, go to here, map option. 
publish map is there you click on this here right fourth map this is testing purpose you can just write your interest click the save option okay now you want to put it in like in any of the web portal you can uh, just uh, copy this code in snippet of the code into that particular thing and it will come up then go to the map option right so this is always when you click on this fourth map automatically whatever the layers have created it has come up new map option so always it will come up and you want to share with my friend i can just give this information okay i can mail it or if you open that particular thing automatically that view will be visible so this way you can just uh, whatever the layers information available using that you can create a map and on the fly you can share with your friends this way the special data can be put up and suppose you want to create a group like 10 people you want to create edit option or five people style so group option is there because if you are the owner of the data set you can create a new group new group members it can be put up public private those options are available and each of the uh, special data you want to link it non special information documents also there you want to upload the documents you can upload the document and whenever upload on document it asks you want to uh, link with the which project or in which layer those information also can be put up so that your the special content non special content or your editing or styling facility all the facilities of web gs functionalities can be done using this particular portal so this is the online geospatial content management system so as i told uh, to have we, we don't want to give to a user like uh, unlimited data limit so to be that's the reason we just given the restriction of 25 mb as i requested if you really want to use this application please drop a mail uh, based upon requirement we will increase the data size or with the 25 mb yes wherever your the data set is there it can be Uh, available in your, your portal and it only visible to your and whoever you shared it will be there for example you want to share with the public any of the public that time please write a mail we'll check your content if it is really usable for the all the people we'll enable so that other people also can be benefited and apart from other things each and every layer whatever you are uploaded user can give the rating like rating means like for example your friend is there you check the quality okay now he say that no no the quality is not good okay rating it can be there you want to share with the facebook or the or you want to change the attribute naming convention so all those things comments also can be put up so all whatever your social networking site facilities it is there that is embedded in this particular portal we have given this to the users so i request all of you to look into this particular portal of suvida and utilize this thing and as i requested please register with bhuvan so that you will get the updates it will be useful for your future purpose also uh with this i will close the presentation of thematic services and uh, suvida so, uh, harish are you there uh the yeah, second... harish tell me you are starting harish, the second actually, uh... yeah hey, exactly harish i want to say that can i start that one before that i think we'll take a uh, uh, few questions, questions. yeah yes, yes and uh, the yes. last one last question is is like uh, one user is asking like how you have generated the file for upload so can you uh, repeat uh... assure okay i'll start that thing so i'm just uh, this is the bond.nrc go.in right uh, you i'm just going to bond to the application the tools are there right draw tool i selected so before that which are the place interested you can go it right otherwise you can select also what i will do i'll just go to i'll just go to satellite so i'm just randomly go to the place which are the place or you can search the place also right so i just i went to this i want to destroy this rural area some area right so i want to destroy this what i will go tools draw tool option is there now i can draw a line polygon point so i'm clicking on this polygon now i will take here anyway i'm randomly i'm distressing but whenever you want to have it you can just select and properly you can distress now you right click it okay the left hand panel it has come up you click here right create option will come here you can give the any information test to have that attribute it will allow two things test to click on this create click on download this way 
the shape file is created this is for uploading as shown this shape file but this suida portal not only this shape file whatever you are having shape file generated by the different uh, projection system or uh, different things that can be uploaded to demonstrate the purpose i have just taken our buon 2d as the help of i have created one shape file arish is it okay i think uh, that should be uh, okay right yeah i think some uh, two three questions uh, we'll take up and then we can proceed with the next uh, part of your presentation like this one yes. is to 250 One is to fifty k LULC maps. Uh, are they available for uh, download by the users? No. Answer is no, Arish. So one is to fifty k only web service available. Download is not available. Yeah, if not download, then what is the other procedure that they can acquire this data set? Ah, uh, they can write a mail to us. We'll talk to the owner of the data set. We'll get back you. But otherwise, right now it the option is not enabled for download. So that block level LULC data is uh, available for visualization and download at any scales. Visualization available, download is not available. One is two fifty k only. Download is available. Visualization any scale it can be visualized in our portal as well as in their softwares. Download is not available. That block level, but one is to two fifty k they can just download. Any of the block level means any of the thing they can put, but the scale is one is to two fifty k. Any block level, as I shown, just I will demonstrate one more time. So if they are interested block, that can they can go to that. So just quickly I will demonstrate. Go to thematic services. So only two fifty k data it is available for the download. I am selecting this. Now you select any of the year, or you can directly go to the get data. Here the option is there. State, district, bounding box, drive away. There that time they can draw a block level. Or you can just take the bounding box. Once they submit, so the request will be generated. That particular block is processed, and the information shared through the FTP. They can download. Arish, yeah, yeah. So one question yeah. is like, can we count the number of polygons? Let us say water bodies in the LULC map of a particular area. No, uh, that particular tool is not available. Uh, so they can write. They mail to us. We will give API so that they can use that particular thing. Right now, the ready to available tool is not available. The counting of number of polygons, uh, let us say, of a particular class, uh, that is only right. possible through some uh, API only. API. That also, if they write a requirement, we will we will uh, enable that thing. Right now, that uh, not available number of polygons. Question is like uh, uh, if the map tip, map tips are available in the thematic layers, do we provide map tips? Ah, uh, map tips means can you just uh, map tips means like if we is. just no no if we put our cursor on any uh, let us say color, it will tell mm -hmm. you what is that particular uh, class. Like suppose if I put, uh, yes. put yes. my cursor on the yes. so those are available. Yes, I will show also. I will demonstrate. Yes. So I am just selecting one theme. So I am selecting Chandigarh. You click on this view option. Now, if you see the right hand panel, the different colors are there, right? I am clicking this identify info. First, they have to select and click on this thing. On mouse over, it will come. This is all over all the teams information. But user has to click on this button. Then only it will come. This is the process that. Yeah. Which are the places? Uh, yes, they have to click on this uh, identify button. Now I click on the uh, red color. It is showing this uh, information. Built up urban, how much area is there? Now I'm click on this blue color thing. Automatically, it will change. It will give that information. Now, if you see the change, it is showing wetland and water bodies. How much area is there? Like that, the information is there for each and everything. The historical data available, let us say, from in of 90s or 80s of the same LULC maps. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, uh, for LULC, only 50k three years data is available. Five and six, two fifty k. The cycles are the starting with the two thousand five and six only available, LULC. But the satellite data, the different data sets is there. I will show you. On my next session, I will show you. But thematic only these cycles which are the present, it is available here. 
Fine then, you can uh, I mean go ahead with your next session. Probably some some more questions are there. Probably we'll take other faculty members also into the uh, meeting, and then we can right. discuss those questions. Yeah. Thank you, Arish. So coming back to my next session, uh, first I'll start with the general Bhuvan. So uh, again, I'll go back to Bhuvan 2D. So I'll quickly first show the, the temporal data visualization because the question earlier was thematic, but I will I want to show the satellite data also, right? So if you see this is the like map view, whenever you increase the zoom level, the different details it will come, right? Like uh, earlier you were seeing the state had been this boundaries like it will based upon it will come similarly like you, you click on the satellite option right once you click the satellite first you will see the apps after some certain scale list three will uh, list list four will come list three will come based upon the requirement it will uh, pop up so uh, increase the zoom level right one meter data this is the highest uh, resolution of data one meter now if you see when i click on the satellite option here the right hand side the button has come up this is the temporal data visualization once you click on this particular thing this is the my extent right now whichever the satellite that i'm seeing that is the 23 april 2018 right now you want to see in the same place how the 2019 data is look like you can just click on this based upon the my extent it will change the data will be loaded here so this way you can just see the satellite data of 2019 so whichever the place you are there based upon the screen automatically the temporal data will follow up if you see in this view extent 1973 data set also come up right when i click on this it will be loaded 1973 1979 data sets also it has come up so based upon the extent it those data sets will be pop up so this way you can see multi-temporal data sets using this particular tool temporal data so which are the place interested you can go to that you click on that uh, particular thing it will be loaded now 2009 i want to say select it october that data will be pop up so it will be can be seen right that is one option and apart from like a screen they want to see the multiple data sets what they can do is that they can go to the more option so what i will do just i'll refresh we'll go to the more option here also if you see here the default satellite is here right so i'll just click off this one this is the infrastructure layer right now you want user want to see the different uh, information of this here one more option is there where user can select that particular thing. HR data 2018, HR data 1 meter 2012 and 16. Here also user can select, they can see the, now I am selecting 2012 and 16. Yes, now 2012 and 16 data has come up. One way is that they can go to this temporal or other way, more option they can put it. So they can select the HR data 2018, 12 to 16, and card to set of uh, 202021 also it is there that also given user can be selected and below the different uh, satellite years it is there so this is the satellite data temporal data visualization so apart from that already i've shown uh, this uh, bowen 2d how to create a shape file right so apart from that add photos uh, vijay krishna has shown right so measure length measure area is there our wms also there that can be used up proximity is there where they can use the proximity and they can find out the uh, like nearby places whatever is there that also can be find out apart from that that here one more option is there like okay buffer they can put it so where which are the place interested i'll click on this option okay. i selected uh, I, I can give the area and i can put it this now i selected uh, that uh, fat lang it has come up right so now I want to see in this buffer, what are the categories there? Now I want to see residential shopping, I want to see. Right. Now buffer I have to give. So I'm just giving the five kilometer buffer. Okay, within this five kilometer, what are the shopping malls, anything is there that it will pop up or I'll just put all option, right? Now click on this submit. Now you see whatever that is fallen, it has there. Now I click on this identify button. When I click on this, the information will be available, okay. This is some place which this ticket is there, those information it will be available. So this way the proximity also can be done using this particular uh, Bowen 2D application, right? And uh, user can see the base layers, like hydrology layers, road and satellite also can be visualized. And the terrain information also there, where they can see the dim information, that particular thing also visible. Now, 
apart from that as i told like the simple measure they want to put it they can go to the measure area which are the place interested just if the key drawing you are getting the information here like what is the area is there that can be uh, done using this particular port bone today and uh, now suppose you have just seen the tools right draw tool earlier you created shape file but when i close that session that is gone right so just i will show one more time like instead of uh, now this time i'll take the line so i'm just what i'll do i'll go to any of the place just want to display here okay right click it yes now edit it you want to edit you click on this edit option again so so edit also can be possible using this particular thing now you want to download you can just download this option but whenever i am closing this right that will go away when i close it will go away or you want to do one more time uh, one more line is there that also can be downloaded one more shape but you want to put it this in your application always with your user account we have developed one more application called bone mapper you will go to bone special applications so go to special applications here bone mapper is there online shuffle creation utility is there go to this online shuffle creation utility now the earlier one username password it didn't ask because that uh, for the that part plus session it is available it will not be available in my account right now again i want to keep it in my account and whenever i want to suppose i want to distance like 1 km so at a time i don't want to do it right so whenever i have the time i'll just come back i'll distance so that way you can you know, done using this particular thing so again i i'm just giving the capture details okay here is to what so here also you can just now it is now it is allowing me to just this days so i'll just go to here okay now this field i want to distance so what i will do i'll just take area now and i'm putting okay now if you see the left hand panel right now earlier it didn't ask only two attributes come up but when i just given this particular thing it is asking is it a land use is it a building is it a park is it a water it asks what what category uh, falls just if i click it will ask built up commercial or what is there so i'm just anyway i'm just uh, uh, i'll go back here i'll click on this now when i put and save option automatically it is saved in our server so that will be available now this particular thing again like if you want to come back i want to do it yes one more feature also can be drawn now you again one more feature you want to distance this particular place okay now this time you want to give for the park or something right so here also you can click on save option now click on save option right the two polygon it has come up and if you see when i put the park the symbol has come up with the tree right so now i want to download you click on this download option you can select which date which date you want to download you click on this 12 you click on this particular thing right now you can download the shape will be downloaded so if you, what is the thing is that if you want to have the the particular session go to bowen to the application just to see the satellite data to put it but you want to keep it in your account you want to further utilize just come back to the online ship with creation utility going back to special applications going to online ship with creation utility here it will be available so this is available for the general public and the same application we have been given to the postal department for the delivery zone maps and the other department for the distressing the water bodies so there like that time we have changed the uh, requirement of attributes based upon these things for the general public yes we kept it so suppose you want to like universities there like they can go to their entire university area and they can map which building is the admin building which area is the where the uh, like management is there like uh, science department is there they can just put it so now they can download this the particular shape files and they can use our suvidha server they can color it so what is basically asset mapping can be done using this satellite data 
and the same thing using the our uh, suvidha portal or bhuvan you can host it also that way user can create data using our bhuvan portal also so this is regarding the online map uh, creation utility so you can see the bhuvan 2d and the online shuffle creation utility and i will show one more thing like uh, one more application also is there so download anyway tomorrow is there but quickly i'll just uh, touch up on this open data archive also so right now uh, like bhuvan 2d bhuvan 3d or bhuvan light these are the for visualization and uh, ogc map services thematic service for the ogc consuming and uh, uh, for uh, for example you want to download the satellite data and error product you click on this open data archive portal and, and tomorrow anyway the lecture is there but quickly just i uh, will show you that the different uh, categories are there satellite sensor theme products and program project for example i want to download the cartoon different versions are there right i am selecting the carto set one okay then uh, i am selecting all versions uh, we kept uh, very simple options one is bounding box you can give or if you know the open series map topo sheet number you can just give it for example i know the open uh, topo sheet number it will pop up here you want to see that particular thing yes you can click on view option so it will be loaded here so i have selected this option yes it has come up here right so you can see that and if you quality is good you are happy with this thing now you want to download you click on download again when your download is there because you are taking the data using our bhuvan portal already you log in with the test part file it is taken now it can be downloaded once you click on this download it will be downloaded as a zip file it contain the uh, geotip file format and uh, metadata will be there those information can be further can be used for uh, your contour generation or finding the Uh, elevation values can be used in a simple mechanism similarly like for example you want to download the ef satellite data right so i am selecting this now this time instead of going the topo sheet number here also four mechanism bounding box topo sheet tile based search and interactive drawing this time i am selecting the tiles so which are the place interested just to draw a rectangle right now these are the nine tiles you have selected now go back to the next right here Uh, metadata is there you can just quickly find out what are there uh, the information about the data which uh, year data is there like what is the extent what format is giving so those information is available now you want to see the thumbnail view of this that is available this and now you want to download the multiple files yes it can be possible and if you see this f43 right so f43 available for the multiple uh, november 08 available 11th march also available if you see what is the uh, latest f43 r if you see that i think uh, 27 19 october right so the latest one for the f43 r 22 november 19 so that also can be view right and uh, you can just download this particular data set so i'll just show you this now whenever you are downloading this apps uh, this is also 16 bit data you will get it four different because apps contain the four bands that are four different bands will be there now you can take and you can uh, generate a ncc or fcc using this particular thing now if you see this okay this is the four bands right in the tip format it is there this is regarding the satellite data and for example you want to have the derived data product like we have the different options are there go to the new selection and program project is there you select here nicis is there right so now the ocean sciences atmosphere terrestrial so i'm just selecting terrestrial sciences now the for example you want is the snow albedo data or like you want to have the water a forest fire resume land degradation all those options are there i'm selected one option of a normalized difference vegetation index so let us select the ndv option so you click here right now december 01 15 you selected and clicking view option so this is the 1 km ndva for the indian and uh, neighboring country so once you click it this or you want to see the previous thing okay october we want to see the changes you can put it you can increase the zoom level and you can see that particular changes here also once you want to download this particular data sets yes you click on this download option it will be downloaded geotiff also similarly like uh, all weather related thing or climate related thing uh like uh, just i'll show one more thing ocean sensors will go so that you can see one thing or cruise by can going 
the cloud temperature cloud fraction cloud cover of 3d have selected right so i want to see the particular thing selected this right yes it has come up and when you download this product it will come in the nc format so the download option also we are giving based upon the requirement basically climate related thing user want in the nc level so we are giving satellite using the geotiff level so using this particular portal you can download the satellite data and direct product this is regarding the nrc open evo data archive so tomorrow again the lecture is there in this particular portal and they will you demonstrate and they will tell you all the products available and their frequency of update so uh, thank you this is from my side arish yeah narish i'm here uh, so uh, thank you very much uh, for your uh, talk and also the tutorial that you have demonstrated so i hope it is uh, useful to all the users uh, who are uh, watching this webinar i think uh, so we'll take a few questions uh, uh, on the bowen geo portal so probably uh, if you are there you can answer or if your team is there they can also probably assist you in uh, answering some of the questions uh, like one question is uh, do we have real time views uh, uh, available in bhuvan so that we can monitor the events in a real time basis like for instance this double burning in that is uh, that happens in punjab so do we have a okay. provision where we can visualize the uh, data or the events on bhuvan geo portal Uh, yes, sir. Ish. Uh, anyway, that particular lecture is there in disaster. They will tell you, but just quickly, I will show you. I am clicking disaster management services, right? So they asked about the uh, forest fire or a Punjab related thing. Just I will go to that uh, fire thing. I am clicking on forest fire, right? So if you look at uh, so, right today is twelfth July, right? So if you see that latest one at ten thirty six, where uh, what happened and where the forest fire is happened. So if you click on this, it is. Come up here. This is the forest fire related. Similarly, the other thing like uh, related to the Punjab related also agriculture fire. So if you look at this, this is also like agriculture related whatever they asked. So 2022 like 17 July 2020 it is happened. If it, this is the place it is happened, you click on this particular thing available. So entire country wherever this this fire is happening, that kind of the real time information it is available in Bhuvan Disaster Services Portal. and more related information of this uh, like real time disaster events the particular session is there arish they will tell you more details yeah yeah because there are uh, some queries related to the uh, watershed downloading of the water shed layers whether there are micro watersheds available in jibbo and geo portal so are we providing the uh, early warning or the forecast services through what the bhuvan emergency services so all these questions uh, probably have uh, we made a note of that one so probably at yeah. the tomorrow's application lecture on disaster yeah, management yeah. we can take up those questions to the speaker anyway you have yes, shown sir, uh, this sir. one very quickly so i think that is a very useful service that we are providing and uh, yes. another question is uh, and quickly just yeah, one anyway. more thing arish uh, last one thing arish they can uh, district wise also they can just download this when you click on count it will show you district wise how many it is happened where the locations of the information can be user download that not only visualize they can get the information in excel also Once they open the Excel sheet, the, the details are available. In state, which state is happened, which district happened, how many count is there? This is the count. The particular location information. One more tab is there. They can just download that information. Also, we are providing Google. Okay, fantastic. Then, uh, okay. So one more question is like uh, like whatever the uh, users who are uploading the data. so are we doing any back end verification of the i mean the i mean the, uh, the accuracy of the data or the validity of the data so do we have any process in the back end and uh, whether we are doing any moderation also of the data that is been uploaded so this is another question yeah hey, yes sirish whenever user are uploading the data in terms of the special data or like add photo or add content whenever they are doing that will not be all over to the public it first cut the filters are sir there uh based upon that filters based upon the moderation thing only it will be available to the public but for his account because he is uploading the data set minimum validation we are seeing for his account it will be visible but none of other users is will able to visualize that particular data set yeah okay fine naresh uh, 
I think uh, those are the questions that were posted in the chat that I could uh, pick up for, uh, I mean, uh, to uh, have a discussion with you. So okay. thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much, Naresh, uh, for your valuable time. And uh, you are there in uh, tomorrow's session also? You have a session? Uh, no, Arish. Actually, tomorrow tomorrow I don't have Arish. Yeah, no, no issue. I mean, uh, just thinking whether uh, you will be there tomorrow also. So, okay, no problem. Yes. Uh, so I request Arish, like what are the queries they are having uh, regarding the Suvida and Thematic and Noida and any other application, they can push a mail to bone at the rate of nrc.go.in. And uh, as this, all the demonstration I've done with the online, I request all of them to register Bhuvan uh, with Bhuvan and they can upload the data set, they can verify and what are the queries is there, next two days is there, so that we can uh, like uh, we can tell that their doubts, we can clarify. This is from my side. Thank you all. Thank you very much, Naresh, and uh, uh, your time and also for the uh, question and answers. And also to all the speakers uh, who have contributed to this uh, day one of this webinar and uh, familiarizing our uh, user community about the various aspects of uh, Bowen Geo Portal. Uh, I hope uh, it is a good uh, beginning to all of them. Uh, so we have uh, again uh, two days left where uh, they can get exposed to the uh, the resources that are available in Geo Portal. And uh, in, in many ways they can use uh, the data that is available uh, for their own applications. Uh, so with that, uh, 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 ladies and gentlemen, uh, we come to the end of the day one of this uh, three-day webinar session. Uh, I uh, First of all, let me thank you for uh, joining this uh, uh, day one of this webinar with uh, full uh, enthusiasm. I think your uh, questions have also been very relevant and uh, useful for the forum as well as for the other uh, users. So keep those uh, questions coming. Uh, so day one is basically is a familiarization uh, uh, day for uh, you all and that have been showcased by our uh, uh, our scientists here. So hopefully we can uh, build on the momentum whatever we have gained today in tomorrow's application lectures. So tomorrow we have uh, uh, sessions on uh, the free data downloads available from NOIDA portal. Uh, then we look at the Bhuvan mobile application and also a demonstration. And then we'll have the uh, case studies on water resources and urban uh, applications. And then we'll have a tutorial on Bowen Panchayat that is basically related to the governance application and also the uh, tutorials on how Bowen features can be utilized. So my request is uh, probably if you have access to the uh, resources, like if you are there desktop or uh, uh, laptop or your workstation in your uh, office or laboratory, uh, probably you can uh, just log into the Bowen portal and try to uh, follow whatever is being discussed in this forum so that it will be a quick learning experience for you. And anyway, you have the resources that are being recorded and made available to you uh, for future use also, so that also you can uh, use it to uh, understand the Bowen Geoport. So with that, we'll come to the end of this day one. Uh, once again, thank you very much for your valuable time. And uh, we look forward to all of you on day two with another exciting session on Bowen Geoportal and the application uh, that are being hosted on the Bowen. Uh, so till then, uh, uh, have a good day, ladies and gentlemen. It is uh, raining cats and dogs here in Hyderabad, but hopefully uh, the weather will improve in the next two days. But we'll hope to catch up you all uh, tomorrow at the same time, 10 o'clock. Uh, so till then, uh, have a good day, have a safe day. And uh, just for the I mean, quiz, it will be uploaded in, uh, by 3 o'clock today. So it will, the link will be available from 3 o'clock. So those who are already registered and who, who are already having that e-class link, uh, I mean, credentials and account, probably you can log in and uh, check the, uh, attempt the quiz uh, so that you can uh, uh, follow like what has been covered in today's session. So that's it from my side. That is from, uh, that's it from NRSC and Bhuvan. So hopefully we'll uh, have plenty of more to discuss tomorrow and also your uh, uh, questions. So till then, uh, uh, have a safe day, have a bright day. I mean, have a good day, not a bright day, but it's all, uh, I mean, cloudy here. So thank you very much and see you tomorrow.